Chapter 311, The Power of Chaos, Mortal Cultivation Lu Fan looked at the clone that was born from the nine-petaled lotus. This was derived from the clone fruit, and it was very magical. The clone technique was originally a supernatural ability, but it could reach this level with the help of external objects. Clone fruit. A rare treasure in the world of high martial arts, as precious as the heaven and earth obsidian flame. It was born from the heaven-grade spiritual plant, the seven-colored treasure tree, and it bears fruit every ten thousand years. Lu Fan sat on the thousand-blade chair with a cup in his hand. He looked at Lu Julian, whose eyes were filled with confusion and curiosity about the world, and murmured, the seven-colored treasure tree is a heaven-ranked spirit plant. The system did not comment on the level of the doppelganger fruit. However, the rare treasure, the seven-colored treasure tree, that gave birth to the doppelganger fruit was a heaven-ranked spirit plant. Heaven rank. This was the first heaven rank treasure that Lu Fan had come into contact with so far. The trial tower and the Tao tablet were only earth rank. It was hard for Lu Fan to imagine the level of heaven rank. Lu Julian's appearance stunned little Yinglong. He thought that he had done something bad, but who would have thought that there was a person inside the lotus? Lu Julian looked like a 14 or 15 year old youth. His lips were red and his teeth were white. He had the vigor of a youth. He was filled with curiosity about everything in the world. The little rain dragon landed and floated in front of Lu Julian. Lu Julian's eyes were filled with surprise. She raised her hand and carefully touched the little rain dragon. It was as if she was tickling him. The little rain dragon could not help but giggle. Then, he pouted. A water arrow shot out and landed on Lu Julian's face. Lu Julian could not help but laugh out loud. On the island in the center of the lake, Ning Zhao and Ni Yu, who were comprehending the Tao tablet, had also woken up. They looked at each other and saw Lu Julian sitting cross-legged on the lotus flower in the origin lake. They were bewildered. Who? Was this person? Lu Fan's white clothes fluttered in the wind as he waved at Lu Julian. The lotus flower floated on the origin lake and landed on the island in the center of the lake. Lu Julian looked at the island in the center of the lake curiously like a curious baby. He had just been born, so everything was new to him. He was wearing a suit embroidered with lotus flowers, he walked barefoot on the green grass. Lightning arced. Lu Fan appeared in front of Lu Julian. Lu Julian looked at Lu Fan and vaguely felt that their hearts were connected. Lu Julian was Lu Fan's clone, and their souls were of the same origin. Lu Fan intended to let Lu Julian start with a mortal body and walk the path of cultivation. Qi Dan, body storage, heaven lock, and Yuanying would then become the three gods realm. Lu Fan hoped that Lu Julian could take his place on the path of cultivation and perfect his understanding of the path of cultivation. Of course, Lu Julian said that she was Lu Fan, but she was actually not Lu Fan. Although she was a clone, she was an independent life form with her own unique soul and spirit. Lu Fan raised his hand. He grabbed at the air. Lu Julian's soul was pulled into the platform. Lu Fan sat cross-legged and the eight trigrams formation floated beneath him. A nine-petaled green lotus bloomed beneath Lu Julian. Lu Fan's eyes flickered. It was obvious that this green lotus was a treasure unique to Lu Julian. With a flick of his finger, formation characters began to glow with golden light. They actually enveloped Lu Julian's soul. Seal your memories of me. From now on, you will be Lu Julian. Live your life and walk your own path, Lu Fan said. His voice rumbled like the sound of the Great Tao. In the next moment, the eight trigram runes fell and wrapped around the green lotus and Lu Julian on it. Soon, Lu Julian's consciousness disappeared. Compared to Lu Fan, the current Lu Julian was only immortal. In the pavilion of White Jade Capital, Lu Fan withdrew from the Tao platform. He sealed Lu Julian's memories of him. From now on, Lu Julian was a real person and would not carry Lu Fan's memories. He walked the path of cultivation alone, comprehended and comprehended alone, and walked a great path. It was different from Lu Fan's Tao. Go! Lu Fan flicked his finger. The lotus wrapped around Lu Julian's body. Like a stream of light, it shot out from the origin lake and landed on the vast sea. The little Ying Long cried out and lay on the edge of the giant whale. Looking at the lotus that landed on the sea, it felt a little lost. It was rare to meet a person who was nourished by him and would not take revenge. 
However, they parted so quickly. Thick fog rose on the sea. The lotus rose and fell under the waves. The young Lu Julian was in a state of slumber. Soon, he disappeared into the sea. You two continue to cultivate. Lu Fan looked at Ni Yu and Ning Zhao and said. Yes. The two of them bowed and returned to the Tao tablet to continue their comprehension. Lu Fan rubbed the Yu Zan ring on his thumb, took out the spiritual pressure chessboard, and began to set up the chessboard again. Suddenly. His movements stopped. He leaned against the Thousand Blades chair, and after a long time, he let out a breath. His mind moved. A ball of energy the size of a thumbnail appeared in his hand. As soon as this ball of energy appeared, the surrounding air was compressed and caved in. If it easily touched the ball of energy, it would continuously collapse. The quality of this energy was too high, and the power was too strong. System. What kind of energy is this? Lu Fan asked curiously. The quality of this energy was so high that it far surpassed the world origin. Lu Fan guessed that it was the high martial world origin, or perhaps, the universe origin. Of course, all of this was just Lu Fan's guess. Back when he was transcending the tribulation, Lu Fan's soul had entered the void. He couldn't help but have a bold idea, so he absorbed this energy. In the end, while Lu Fan was absorbed, his soul seemed to have been kicked out by someone. Lu Fan didn't care what kind of terrifying existence was beyond the heavens, but Lu Fan remembered that kick. He originally thought that the system wouldn't answer, but the system, who had been silent for a long time, unexpectedly gave an answer. In his eyes, a line of words popped out. Power of Chaos, Mach 1. The origin energy of the beginning of heaven and earth. It is the origin energy of the origin of the world. The system's answer made Lu Fan's eyes freeze. Power of Chaos? The origin energy of the origin of the world. Lu Fan took a deep breath. It sounded. Very awesome. His spiritual sense surged, and Lu Fan began to control his spiritual sense to continuously approach this mass of energy. However, as he got closer, Lu Fan felt that his spiritual sense seemed to have evaporated. Although this energy was captured by him, it did not listen to his orders at all. He was still unable to control the power of chaos. Lu Fan was very curious. Who was the one who controlled the power of chaos in the Nine Heavens? How could such a high-end energy be controlled by such an existence? Lu Fan shook his head and threw out other thoughts. He began to focus on studying the one-tier power of chaos. It should be the measurement unit of the power of chaos. Since the power of chaos was so powerful, if Lu Fan fused it with the origin of the Five Phoenix Small World, what kind of changes would it bring to the Five Phoenix Small World? Although the origin of the Five Phoenix Small World had fused with the origin of Tian Yuan, However, even if the origin of Tian Yuan, which was on the verge of destruction, was fused, its quality would still drop. Therefore, the Five Phoenix origin could not be considered as the true top-notch origin of middle-level martial arts. However, Lu Fan guessed that if he fused with the power of chaos, it should be able to improve a lot. Therefore, Lu Fan was tempted. He began to calm down and study the power of chaos. Splash! The cold water hit Lu Julian's face. It went through his pores and seemed to penetrate his heart. Lu Julian shivered and opened his eyes. The sky was gloomy, as if it was filled with lead. It was depressing and cramped. Lu Julian turned his head and found himself lying on a bamboo raft wet all over. At the other end of the bamboo raft, an old man wearing a straw cape and a bamboo hat was struggling to hold the pole. Young man, you're awake. The bamboo raft sailed far away. The old man found that Lu Julian was awake. He turned his head and smiled. Lu Julian was a little confused. His mind was muddled. Other than knowing that his name was Lu Julian, he had no other memories. This is Dongyang County, the Thousand Pool River. It's extremely dangerous. There are many undercurrents at the bottom of the river. If you're not careful, you'll be dragged into the immortal realm and it'll be hard to save you. Fortunately, you're a young man with a good life. You were stuck by a dead branch and didn't get dragged into the bottom of the river. The old man laughed. Lu Julian's face was a little pale. He licked his dry lips and his stomach made a gurgling sound. The old man smiled. He took out a small piece of dried fish from the bamboo basket and handed it to Lu Julian. You must be hungry. Eat first to fill your stomach. When you reach the shore, you can eat something warm. Young man, 
Where are you from? Do you have a family? Judging from your clothes, you must be from an illustrious family, right? The old man asked curiously. The bamboo raft continued to move forward. After passing through the rapids, the surroundings became calm. The sound of splashing water rippled. The bamboo raft moved slowly on the surface of the water, leaving behind waves of ripples. The monkeys on both sides of the river could not stop their cries. The lightboat had already passed through 10,000 mountains. Although the bamboo raft was simple and crude, the old man's skills were good, so its speed was not slow. Lou Julian finished eating the dried fish and licked her fingers. She shook her head in confusion at the old man's question. I don't know anything. I only remember that my name is Lou Julian. Lou Julian said. The old man was stunned. Then, he shook his head and sighed. Poor kid. There was nothing to say on the way. When the sky darkened. The bamboo raft docked. Lou Julian had the strength to carry the bamboo basket for the old man. She followed the old man all the way inland. After climbing over a mountain, they saw a small village. The fireworks were straight and slightly hazy. Lou Julian followed the old man into the village. She was very curious. The old man's house was at the end of the village. When they returned to the house, a blind old woman walked out of the house while touching the wall. Old thing, you're back. The old man answered with a smile. Lou Julian put down the bamboo basket and was at a loss. The old woman seemed to have heard something, and her cloudy and listless eyes lit up. Old thing, there's a guest here? The old man was helpless, so he could only tell her about the young man he saved by the river. The old woman was instantly overjoyed. She touched her dress excitedly and asked Lou Julian to stay at home. Lou Julian could not remember anything and had nowhere to go, so she chose to stay. She helped with some farm work every day, which made the blind old woman much more relaxed. Lou Julian learned that the old man had a son. However, when Dongyang County was invaded by the Dongyi army, one of the five who. The son and daughter-in-law did not marry and chose to join the army. In the end, they died on the battlefield. The two old men could only rely on each other. They lived in the village day by day. Lou Julian had mixed feelings. He stayed in the village and stayed with the two old men. The two old men were clearly in a much better mood. The old woman even had the energy to study some mountain village delicacies. She even thought about making arrangements for Lou Julian to go to the neighboring village to get a daughter-in-law. It was as if they treated Lou Julian as their own son. Lou Julian's life was very fulfilling and satisfying. He liked this kind of life. It was peaceful and beautiful. Of course. This peace did not last long. In the sky of the mountain village, a big bird flew over. The immortal that the villagers called had descended on this small mountain village. Xiliang. In the secret realm of Dongyan River, Luo Mingsang exited the Dragon Gate under the protection of a Shang family soldier. When the Shang family soldiers guarding the Dragon Gate saw Luo Mingsang return in a sorry state, they were shocked. When they learned that the imperial capital had been attacked, they were even more furious. The news reached Xu Chu. Xu Chu was furious, he could not contain his anger. These bastards took advantage of the king's seclusion in the secret realm to attack me, Xiliang. He learned from Luo Mingsang that there were only 100 Shang family soldiers left to guard the dragon gate of the imperial capital. His eyes turned red. Xu Chu was not stupid. He could guess the purpose of these soldiers guarding the imperial capital's dragon gate. Once the imperial capital's dragon gate fell, if the Xiliang army wanted to attack the imperial capital again, they would have to travel far and go to the imperial capital. The Dragon Gate was a very important strategic junction. Xu Chu could gather another army and lead a large group of Shang family soldiers into the Dongyan River's Dragon Gate. Luo Mingsang stood by the river and looked at the surging river with a frown. She knew that the situation in the world was about to change. The news that the Black Dragon Cult had invaded the imperial capital occupied by Xiliang would soon cause a huge uproar in the world. The forces that had maintained a delicate balance would soon be broken. Earth-shattering battles would break out in all the spirit stone mines. Luo Mingsang gritted her teeth and asked someone to send a message to the overlord. She also began to dispatch the three armies to prepare for the chaos that would follow. Imperial capital, imperial garden. Blood dyed the ground red. Almost all of the 100 Shang family soldiers had died. Only a dozen of them were still standing with difficulty. 
His blades were blunt, and his spiritual essence had been exhausted. Everyone had exhausted their strength and was on the verge of collapse. The leader of the body snatching territory had been stabbed several times, and blood kept dripping down from his armor. However, the troops of the Black Dragon Cult continued to surround him. The situation had become extremely difficult. The commander of the Shang family army turned around and looked at the Dragon Gate. He gritted his teeth and raised the long blade in his hand. The remaining ten or so Shang family soldiers also waved their blades. Liu Yuanhao looked at them coldly. He glanced at the Black Dragon Gate and said, End the battle quickly and take over the Dragon Gate. Liu Yuanhao gave the order. He admired the spirit of this group of Shang family soldiers. They were worthy of being the Iron Cavalry of Xiliang and the soldiers of the overlord Shang Xiaoyun. They were very resilient. However, Liu Yuanhao would not be merciful. There was no turning back, and he did not have the right to be merciful. Boom. Liu Yuanhao moved. The white flames covered the spiritual energy armor, making him look like a demon god that had descended. The commander roared angrily and drew his blade to fight. He no longer had any spirit energy, but he did not retreat a single step. Puchi. Liu Yuanhao's claw that was covered in flames pierced through the Shang family army commander's chest. A level 6 Dao intent, the Dao intent of cold flames, erupted. Ice crystals covered the body of the Shang family army commander. The Shang family army behind him roared furiously. The Black Dragon Guards mercilessly led the soldiers of the Black Dragon Cult to surround and kill these exhausted Shang family army soldiers. Every Shang family soldier had red eyes as they fought until the last drop of their blood was drained. A roar came from the Dragon Gate. A furious roar, like the roar of a wild beast. Kill. A huge metal ball with thorns was thrown out from the Dragon Gate, heading straight for Liu Yuanhao. The strong wind blew Liu Yuanhao's hair in the wind. Liu Yuanhao narrowed his eyes. The white flames swept out and actually turned into a wall of fire, blocking in front of him. Dong. The steel ball was connected by the chains and was pulled back. Xu Chu's burly body rushed out of the dragon gate. He looked at the pile of corpses of the hundred Shang family army brothers and the commander whose heart was pierced through. At this moment, Xu Chu's scalp felt like it was going to explode. Give me your life. Xu Chu threw the steel ball and rushed toward Liu Yuanhao. Brother Zhou. Liu Yuanhao took a step back. Please intimidate these people with your aura. Xu Chu's craziness somewhat exceeded Liu Yuanhao's expectations. He turned his head and said to Zhou Lu. Zhou Lu's eyes flickered. He didn't seem to be very willing. However, Liu Yuanhao didn't ask him to make a move, so Zhou Lu didn't refuse. These people are all real men. Zhou Liu sighed. However, as soon as he finished speaking, a bright golden core appeared above his head. The seventh transformation golden core was as brilliant as the sun. Buzz. The aura and pressure of the seventh transformation golden core suddenly swept out. It was somewhat similar to the spiritual pressure of Lu Fan, but its power was much weaker. Xu Chu felt as if his body was being pressed down by a heavy stone slab. However, Xu Chu roared and pulled out a dagger from his waist. He stabbed it into his thigh, causing blood to spurt out, causing the pressure to dissipate. Xu Chu stared at Zhou Lu. His eyes were red as he roared and swung the big iron ball, charging towards Zhou Lu. He knew that only by breaking Zhou Lu's imposing manner would the Shang family army have the chance to break the situation. Zhou Lu was also somewhat furious after being forced by Xu Chu. Golden Core Fluctuation he threw out a strand of silk. It hit Xu Chu's body. Xu Chu was only in the body constitution stage. Even if he was incomparably brave, he could not withstand the attack of a golden core stage cultivator. His body turned over and blood splattered, flying out. However, Xu Chu spat out a mouthful of blood. He did not care about the injuries on his body at all. He crazily lifted up the huge metal ball and charged towards Zhou Lu once again. Outside the imperial capital, the towering city wall. The overlord dragged the corpse of the Black Dragon Guard step by step to the bottom of the city wall. On the city wall, the Black Dragon Cult's army occupied the city wall. They closed the city gate. When they saw the overlord, they all sucked in a cold breath. Everyone in the world knew the name of the overlord. Looking at the tightly shut city gates, the overlord twisted his neck and threw the corpse of the Black Dragon Guard out. Pung. 
The corpse of the Black Dragon Guard smashed into the city walls, causing them to crack. How dare you offend my Western Liang? The overlord said coldly. He had been silent for too long. Any Tom, Dick, or Harry would dare to bully Western Liang. Boom. A monstrous demonic chi exploded from the overlord body. He took a step forward, and in the next moment, a deep hole appeared in the ground. The overlord body turned into a straight black line as he charged towards the city gate. The black dragon cult guards on the city gate were all panicking. Block it. A body concealment realm black dragon cult commander roared. Below the city gate, the black dragon cult soldiers pushed against the city gate. Dong. A loud sound rang out. The overlord was like a siege log as he slammed into the city gate. The heavy city gate exploded. Wood chips flew in all directions. Several guards were smashed into a bloody mess by the overlord. An uproar sounded out. The overlord walked in step by step from behind the shattered city gate. Dense demonic chi swept over and wood chips flew in all directions, forming a terrifying soul stirring storm and pressure. The overlord took a step. Behind the city gate, the Black Dragon Cult army took a step back in fear. Chapter 312 The Overlord Strikes Zhou Lu with His Axe. On an unremarkable mountain peak outside of Wolong Ridge, Lu Muduo held a wooden staff and sat cross legged on the last step of the stone stairs on the mountain peak. The wooden staff lightly tapped on the ground. Behind him, the veiled young girl, Luo Mingyu, held a pippa as the breeze blew her veil. Pavilion Master, is my sister. Still safe? Luo Mingyue asked as her long eyelashes trembled slightly. Lu Miu smiled at her and the bamboo cane that was knocking on the stone steps stopped. He raised his hand and counted with his fingers as he stroked the bamboo cane. Then, he smiled, revealing his teeth that were leaking wind. Don't worry, she's safe. However, the overlord, is in danger. Lu Miu pinched his fingers again as his brows furrowed. In the distance. A beautiful woman slowly walked over, followed by a little girl with a ball-shaped head. The beautiful woman held a roll of black-yellow paper in her hand, while the little girl with a ball-shaped head held a porcelain bowl filled with swaying chicken blood. Lu Dongxuan held a brush, dyed it with chicken blood, and wrote a document on the black-yellow paper. He wrote down the news of the Black Dragon Cult joining forces with the geniuses on the man role of the foreign lands to attack the imperial capital. Once it was rolled up and stuffed into the pigeon's feet, it would disappear and spread. The pigeon's flying speed was extremely fast, turning into a streak of white light as it streaked across the sky. Very quickly, the news had already spread, Northern County. At the peak of Mount Tai, the wind was a little cold. Mo Bake and Tan Tai Zan were making tea. Suddenly, the black tortoise guard commander Shui Dao flew up from the foot of the mountain. Your Majesty. The Pavilion of Heavenly Secrets has sent a message to the world. Shui Dao passed the black yellow paper filled with messages to Tan Tai Zan. Tan Tai Zan took a sip of tea and opened the paper. With a glance, Tan Tai Zan narrowed his eyes, Black Dragon Sect? I heard that it was created by the descendants of the top 13 Black Dragons. The sect leader is called Lu Yuanhao. He has great talent in cultivation and is very strong. Tan Tai Zan said, the Great Zon Kingdom had collected a lot of information, so they naturally had some understanding of the Black Dragon sect. Mo Bake, who was pouring hot water into the purple clay teapot, smiled. The Black Dragon sect is not just a sect. Behind him, there are many aristocratic families. Those aristocratic families that once supported the Great Zhou Imperial family are now mostly supporting the Black Dragon sect. This is also one of the reasons why the Black Dragon sect was able to rise so quickly. However, just this alone is too much a fool's dream to deal with Xiliang, which has an overlord. Mo Bake was puzzled. Tantai Zan handed the black yellow paper to Mo Bake. Mo Bake glanced at it and stroked his beard in realization. Although young Master Lu brought white jade capital to hide, the position of the Pavilion of Heavenly Secrets in the world is still orthodox. The information that the Pavilion of Heavenly Secrets sends is still authoritative. The Pavilion of Heavenly Secrets would not easily send a message to the world. If they do, there must be an important reason. For example, this time, the reason for sending a message to the world is the foreign lands. Mo Bake put down the yellow paper and gently tapped on it. Tantai Zan narrowed his eyes. Foreign lands. 
the foreign lands overseas. I heard that the cultivation civilization is even more powerful than our world. Tantai Zan took a deep breath. It's a great enemy. Liu Yuanhao colluded with foreign experts to get rid of the overlord and take over the imperial capital. It's no different from asking a tiger for its skin. Although this foreign land is different from the chaotic Zhou's Wu Hu, I feel that there are hidden dangers for non-members of my race. Tantai Zan said seriously. In Tantai Zan's opinion, Western Liang and Da Zan were actually of the same origin. They shared the same blood. However, the five bearded man and the foreign experts were different from Da Xuan and Xi Liang. Mo Baek smiled. He stroked his beard and looked at Tantai Zan. Then, Your Majesty, what do you plan to do? He asked. The entire pavilion at the peak of the mountain fell into silence. Shui Dao stood at the side. He didn't even dare to breathe loudly. After a long time, Tantai Zan clenched his fists, raised his head, and looked at Shui Dao. Shui Dao. Present, Shui Dao reacted and immediately shouted. You will lead 300 Black Tortoise elite guards to support the Shang family army through the Dragon Gate. Tantai Zan shouted. As he finished speaking, Shui Dao was stunned. Ah? He thought he had heard wrong. Your Majesty. West County is our opponent. Shui Dao was very puzzled. If the Black Dragon sect did not collude with the foreign experts, this king would not have bothered to make a move. The overlord was defeated. He deserved it. But today, the Black Dragon sect can collude with the foreign experts to kill the overlord. In the future, they can also collude with the foreign army and destroy our great Zon. Tantai Zon spoke with a sonorous voice. There seemed to be a golden dragon circling around his body. When Shui Dao heard this, his face turned slightly red. I accept your orders. As soon as he finished speaking, Shui Dao quickly retreated and ran down the mountain with his body constitution realm cultivation. Mo Baek looked at Tantai Zan with incomparable admiration. Perhaps this was the charm of Tantai Zan. However, your majesty's actions might offend the foreign experts. The gains don't outweigh the losses. Mo Baek analyzed. What's there to be afraid of? This king's head is tied to his neck. If you have the ability, those foreign experts will come and kill this king. Tantai Zan smiled freely. However, the world will soon be in chaos. Elder Mo, do you think this king should personally make a trip to the Nine Phoenix Courtyard? That fellow, Old Zhang, isn't he tired of hiding in the Nine Phoenix Courtyard and drinking the chicken soup cooked by that chicken raising girl every day? Tantai Zan muttered, his expression filled with disdain. Your Majesty, are you jealous? Mo Baek took a sip of tea and smiled. Jealous, my ass. Jealous that old Zhang is being kept by a girl, or jealous that he has chicken soup to drink every day. Tantai Zan leaned back on the chair, took a sip of tea, and smiled. After that, Mo Baek shook his head and became serious. The world is in chaos, who can be alone? If White Jade Capital was still around, it would be fine. With the protection of White Jade Capital, no one would dare to offend the chicken girl, but. Now that White Jade Capital has retired, the Nine Phoenix Institute that raises chicken girls has become one of the world's powers. It will naturally be targeted. After all, the world might covet her chickens. Moreover, I'm afraid General Zhang won't be able to safely drink chicken soup. Mo Baek said. Since the king is in charge of the school, this old man will personally make a trip. When Tantai Zan heard this, he stood up and bowed. In that case, many thanks to Elder Mo, South County. Tang Xianshang was sitting on a rocking chair. Tang Guo was not far from him and was writing like a lady from a noble family. Suddenly, a commander of the South Prefecture Army entered. He passed the message sent by the Heaven's Legacy Pigeon to Tang Xianshang. Tang Xianshang looked a little old. He took the letter and opened it. His eyes narrowed. As expected, the chaotic world started in the Imperial Capital. Tang Xianshang smiled. Fighting against the overlord together with the geniuses on the foreign lands man role? Now, the foreign land cultivators and the cultivators in the world have conflicts after young master Lu left. The foreign land cultivators look down on us, but under such circumstances, Lu Yuanhao is still able to convince an expert on the foreign lands man role. That's quite a skill. What a pity. Tang Xianshang walked behind Tang Guo with his back hunched. He looked at the crooked words written on the paper by Tang Guo and smiled. Given Tantai Zan's temper, 
he will definitely send troops to help. Our South Prefecture will send 50 South Prefecture soldiers to assist him. Even if we give Tantai Zan face, we can not cover his face. The Pavilion of Heavenly Secrets sent a message to the world. Everyone had different attitudes. The various aristocratic families were more sensitive to this matter. Compared to Wu Hu, the people of the world did not have as strong a resistance against foreign experts. After all, foreign experts did not do anything out of the ordinary. For example, once Wu Hu broke through the border fortress, he would not be human at all, he would commit all sorts of crimes. Therefore, most of the big aristocratic families were still in a wait and see state. Some aristocratic families even specially contacted the geniuses of the foreign lands to express their desire to cooperate. This was because there were really many experts in the foreign lands compared to the five phoenixes. Golden elixir realm was very common. But now, the secret pavilion had specifically mentioned the foreign lands, so many aristocratic families were on guard. It seemed that the pavilion of heavenly secrets didn't have any feelings towards the foreign lands, otherwise, they wouldn't have specifically mentioned the foreign lands. The pavilion of heavenly secrets had a very high status. After all, it had once represented the white jade capital. As a result, many aristocratic families that were connected to the foreign lands began to restrain their strength. Most of the aristocratic families sent spies to the imperial capital to investigate the situation of the battle in the imperial capital. They wanted to know the final result. Imperial capital, 10 miles long street. The black dragon cult members and soldiers retreated in fear. The overlord walked out from the dust, and every step he took seemed to shake the earth and shake the mountains. Get out of the way. The hair on the overlord burly body fluttered in the wind, and his aura made people want to cough up blood. If you don't, die. The overlord headed for the 10 mile long street. Step by step, he advanced. The army was constantly retreating. That was because they were scared. After all, the terror of the overlord was reflected in the hearts of the people. Dong dong dong. In the end, the overlord began to run wildly, as if a huge black object was charging over. Some people didn't dodge in a hurry. When they were hit, their bones instantly exploded, and their entire bodies were sent flying, one after another. The army of the Black Dragon Cult could not form a defensive formation at all. Even the cultivators did not dare to stop them. The overlord arrived at the imperial capital like a hot knife through butter. He was a little worried about Luo Mingsang's safety. Ever since he got rid of the knot in his heart, he was able to face Luo Mingsang, the most important person in his life. Outside the imperial capital, the overlord leapt up and stepped on the glazed tiles on the roof. His spiritual sense surged and locked onto the direction of the imperial garden. In the imperial garden, Liu Yuanhao's expression changed, he could feel an extremely terrifying oppressive aura emerging. It's the overlord. Liu Yuanhao was solemn. As for the Shang family army that had charged out from the dragon gate, the blood red eyes of the Shang family army were filled with excitement. Their battle intent was actually getting higher and higher. The king is here. Kill. The Shang family army waved their weapons and shouted. Puchi. Zhou Lu struck out with his palm. Shu Chu's bones were all broken, and his butt crashed onto the ground. The ground was even cracked by his butt. However, he still revealed an expression of excitement. The king. Ha ha ha. The king is here. I can't beat you to death, you dog. Blood spurted out of Shu Chu's mouth as he stared at Zhou Lu and laughed out loud. On the roof. The overlord stood there, the demonic qi surging all over his body. He looked at the pile of Shang family soldiers' corpses in front of the dragon gate. The blood in his body seemed to be boiling as it started to boil. He saw Shu Chu who was seriously injured and on the verge of death. When he saw the Shang family soldiers who were covered in blood, his eyes immediately turned red. So powerful. Liu Yuanhao was alarmed. Even if he had comprehended Dao intent, he probably wouldn't be able to withstand three moves from the overlord. Moreover, the overlord comprehension of Dao intent was even stronger than his. Brother Zhou. Liu Yuanhao looked at Zhou Lu with an extremely solemn expression. Zhou Lu smiled, looking somewhat carefree. Brother Liu, don't worry. Leave this person to me. I've heard of the overlord name once in a while. He comprehended a third-grade Dao intent. I'd like to experience it. 
Zhou Lu's eyes flickered, and his battle intent surged. As he finished speaking, Zhou Lu didn't pay any attention to Xu Chu, who had fallen to the ground and was spitting out blood. His feet stepped on the ground, and his body faintly rose up as he lightly floated onto the roof. He looked at the overlord from across the roof. When Liu Yuanhao saw Zhou Lu make his move, he felt much more at ease. Zhou Lu, who was at the seventh transformation golden core stage, should still have no problem facing the overlord. Even if the overlord had comprehended the Tao intent, the gap in their realms was still too big. Liu Yuanhao turned his head and looked at the Shang family army below. His eyes flashed with a fierce light, attack. The Black Dragon Guards and the Black Dragon Cult Cultivators charged out. Xu Chu coughed out blood and stood up. He grabbed the huge metal ball and wanted to fight again. Suddenly, behind the Dragon Gate, figures jumped out. They were not the Shang family army's armor, but the Black Tortoise Guard's armor. A silver light appeared. With a thunderous sound, it pierced towards Liu Yuanhao who was approaching Xu Chu. Ding! The silver spear was bent to the extreme, but in the end, it still exploded with flexibility, causing Liu Yuanhao to retreat. Liu Yuanhao narrowed his eyes and looked at the silver armored man in front of him. The man held the spear, his aura fluctuating. Black tortoise guards? Liu Yuanhao was slightly stunned. Through the armor, he recognized the other party, and his heart was slightly shaken. I am the Black Tortoise Guards commander, Shui Dao. Shui Dao held the silver spear in his hand and turned to look at Xu Chu. Of course, he knew Xu Chu, and he had fought with him before. Not only was Liu Yuanhao surprised, even Xu Chu was surprised. He had never expected that the Black Tortoise Guards would come to support the Shang family army? Why? The Black Dragon sect and the Great Black Well do not interfere. Why would the Black Tortoise Guards interfere? Liu Yuanhao said coldly. The Black Dragon cult colluded with the foreign cultivators. The king is unhappy, so he ordered us to help. Those who are not of my race have different hearts. Shui Dao raised his spear, and spiritual energy circulated around his body. Four vortexes surged, and the body constitution realm spiritual energy armor appeared. Shui Dao's words also made Xu Chu understand the reason for the Black Tortoise Guards appearing. Well done, brother, Xu Chu immediately roared. Not of my race. Liu Yuanhao narrowed his eyes, this meddlesome Tantai Zan. However, the Black Tortoise Guards of the Great Zan Kingdom did not have such an expert like the Overlord, so Liu Yuanhao was not afraid. The battle erupted once more. Liu Yuanhao knew that he could not drag this on any longer. He had to end this battle quickly and take over the Dragon Gate. Outside the Imperial Capital, the sound of air being torn apart could be heard continuously. On the golden glazed tile roof, figures floated over one after another. Zhang Nan carried a large saber on his back and crossed his arms over his chest. He rushed over explosively and landed on the roof. In the distance, Xiao Yuer also floated over. Feng Yilu had already been on the roof since a long time ago. He smiled as he watched the battle in the Imperial Garden in the distance. They naturally knew that Zhou Lu, who was ranked 10th on the man roll, had helped Liu Yuanhao to attack the Overlord. Everyone in the Mystic Realm knew of the Overlord name. After all, the Overlord name was at the top of the Towering Dao tablet. Du Longyang, the Empress, Heavenly Oasis Young Master, and the others were all suppressed. Feng Yilu and the others also wanted to experience the power of Dao intent. The two of you actually came? Aren't you worried that Ni Chongqing and Kong Nanfei will break the record? Zhang Nan looked at Xiao Yuer and Feng Yilu and couldn't help but ask. It's not that easy to break it. The heavy water of resentment hones one's willpower, and it's not something that can be surpassed overnight. Xiao Yuer laughed. Compared to the heavy water of resentment, I'd like to see how strong this third tier sequence Dao intent is. After saying this, the three of them stopped talking and watched the battle. Zhou Lu stood on the roof opposite the overlord and cupped his hands in a smile. I'm Zhou Lu of the Tian Yuan domain, ranked 10th on the man roll. Zhou Lu looked at the overlord and smiled warmly. Laugh. Laugh at your freckles. The overlord roared explosively. Bang. The overlord foot suddenly stomped down. The building beneath him suddenly collapsed, and the glazed tiles flew in all directions. 
Demonic Chi surged as if it had transformed into a thick cloud. Announce his family? The overlord did not announce his family to a dead person. Holding onto the overlord body, the devil axe and the giant shield condensed. The overlord danced in the air and slashed at Zhou Lu with his axe. Chapter 313, Bullying the Five Phoenixes and No One Else? Origin Lake, Lake Heart Island. Lu Fan sat upright on the Thousand Blade Chair. Threads of spiritual sense were drawn out and wrapped around the fingernail-sized ball of light in his palm. The power of chaos was a high-level energy, it was even higher than the origin energy. Although it was only a one mightier power of chaos, it was not easy to deal with. Lu Fan wanted to control this power of chaos, his spiritual sense rushed out and washed away this power of chaos. If Lu Fan's spiritual sense was like the waves of the vast sea, then the power of chaos was like a rock in the waves of the vast sea, unmoving. Every time it collided, the seawater would create huge waves. It was rare for Lu Fan to be serious. He knew that this was a matter of grinding an iron rod into a needle, so he was not too anxious. He seeped his spiritual sense into this power bit by bit. Time passed by bit by bit. The sky turned dark and white. The giant whale was slowly swimming, mysterious and unpredictable. Ning Zhao and Ni Yu finished their cultivation and looked at Lu Fan, who was still in closed door cultivation. They could only rest for a short while before entering the state of cultivation again. Hard work paid off. Lu Fan relied on his repeated attempts to finally drill his spiritual sense into this power of chaos, controlling this magnificent power of chaos bit by bit. When he came to his senses, he did not know that a month had already passed. It was the end of his path. He did not know how old the immortal cultivation was. Buzz. Lu Fan raised his hand. The originally fingernail sized ball of energy light dispersed and turned into a fine energy thread. This was the one hectare of chaotic power. It took Lu Fan a month to master it. Lu Pan could not believe it. If he had the power of chaos at 100, 1000, or even 10,000 hertz, how long would it take him? If the energy of the origin of a plane was replaced with the power of chaos, how long would it take Lu Pan? The preciousness of this power of chaos was beyond doubt. Lu Pan sat cross-legged, his clothes fluttering in the wind. This wisp of power of chaos was too strong. At least, in Lu Pan's eyes, it was stronger than any other power. If used properly, it would have the effect of destroying the world. Originally, he wanted to fuse this wisp of chaos power with the origin of the Five Phoenix small world, but now, Lu Fan was a little hesitant. He was afraid that the origin of the Five Phoenix small world would not be able to withstand this wave of chaos power, and when the time came, it would explode. Lu Fan wanted to cry but had no tears, therefore, Lu Fan's mind moved. This wisp of energy became solid and turned into a simple jade hairpin. Lu Fan straightened his crown and the jade hairpin was inserted into it, he looked quite elegant. Below. Ni Yu and Ning Zhao were bored. They had finished their daily cultivation. At this moment, they were sitting under the morning chrysanthemum and whispering to each other. Little Ying Long was also sitting on the ground and listening to their conversation curiously. The conversation between girls was the most interesting. Lu Fan also felt that Ni Yu and Ning Zhao were a little bored. His mind moved, and he sank into the teaching platform. In the teaching platform, he used the 8 trigrams array platform to create a round mirror. Wisps of the five phoenix origin were absorbed into the round mirror. Inside the round mirror, it could actually reflect the image of the five phoenix small world. Lu Fan returned to reality, and the round mirror reflected reality. Holding the round mirror in his hand, he gently tossed it, and the round mirror landed in front of Ning Zhao and Ni Yu. Here, if you're done cultivating, you can use the round mirror to observe what's happening on the five phoenix. It won't be so out of touch with the secular world. Lu Fan said. Ning Zhao and Ni Yu, who were whispering to each other, were instantly stunned. Lu Fan smiled. Leaning on the Thousand Blades chair, he rubbed the Yuzan ring, took out the spiritual pressure chessboard, and began to arrange the chessboard. Ni Yu and Ning Zhao looked at each other. The two of them held the round mirror and looked at it curiously. Ning Zhao was stronger than Ni Yu because she had gained spiritual sense. Spiritual sense surged into the round mirror, and Ning Zhao's eyes couldn't help but light up. She found that after spiritual sense was connected to the round mirror, she could actually see many new and novel scenes. 
Ni Yu stretched out her head, and Little Ying Long also curiously watched. The round mirror was actually like a rippling water surface, transforming into a familiar scene. Imperial Capital, Imperial Garden. The scene in the round mirror was precisely the Imperial Capital's Imperial Garden, the scene of the overlord chopping out with his axe. Ni Yu and Ning Zhao exchanged a glance, and astonishment flashed through their eyes. They had never imagined that this round mirror would actually be able to reflect scenes from other places. As expected of young master, his methods are too mystical. Ni Yu praised. In the pavilion, Lu Fan was setting up a chess game. When he heard this, he couldn't help but smile. After all of you complete your daily training plans, you can activate the heavenly mirror. If you don't complete your plans, even if you activate your spiritual sense, you won't be able to see it. Lu Fan said. Ning Zhao pursed her lips into a smile, yet her eyes contained confidence. Self-discipline. She could still do that. Ni Yu nodded her head like a chicken pecking at rice. Little Ying Long tilted his head and pretended to be dumb. After waiting for a while, they realized that Lu Fan didn't say anything else. Their attention then turned back to the heavenly mirror. When they saw it, Ni Yu and Ning Zhao became spirited. In the picture, the overlord was fighting with an unfamiliar expert. Boom. The overlord axe was condensed from demonic chi. Although it was not a real weapon, its power was not weak either. With a swing of the axe, it seemed to be about to break the air. And many people were paying attention to this battle. On the man roll, Zhang Nan, Feng Yilu, Xiao Yuer and the others were all watching. They knew about the battle between Zhou Lu and the overlord, so they came from the secret realm of Wolong Ridge to watch the battle. Could Zhou Lu win? It was hard for them to say. Although Zhou Lu was a seventh transformation Jindan, his combat strength was unrivaled. After the fifth transformation of the Jindan, the increase in strength after each transformation was very considerable. However, the Overlord was not weak either. After all, the Overlord had comprehended a third level sequence Dao intent. Therefore, this battle was very eye catching. As for the battle between the Black Dragon Cult and the Shang family army, it did not seem to be that important. To Zhang Nan and the other geniuses, these ordinary foundation establishment and qi condensation realm battles weren't worth their attention. Even if this battle would decide the fate of the world, they wouldn't care about it. Below, Shui Dao waved his silver spear and fought against Liu Yuanhao. Xu Chu endured his injuries and also waved the big metal ball with spikes to join hands with Shui Dao. Of course, the two of them joining hands would not be able to gain much advantage against Liu Yuanhao. Liu Yuanhao's cold fire Dao intent, coupled with his own cultivation, made Shui Dao and Xu Chu extremely miserable. However, as the commanders of the cultivation army, the two of them were not ordinary people. Even if they were at a disadvantage, they relied on their unafraid spirit to struggle under Liu Yuanhao's hands. The decisive battle would still depend on the overlord and Zhou Lu. Boom! Above the imperial garden, a terrifying aura collided with an explosive sound. A sword appeared in Zhou Lu's hand. He was a cultivator who used a sword. In fact, cultivators who used a sword were very common. The golden core above his head blossomed with golden light. Zhou Lu's aura also erupted to the extreme. His clothes fluttered and his eyes were bright. Zhou Lu's sword still has something. Xiao Yuer laughed. The tenth on the man roll is not a weakling. Although he comes from a small sect, the sword in his hand has made a name for himself. Even city Lord Du admires him very much. He once wanted to let him enter Martial Emperor City. Unfortunately, he refused. Feng Yilu sat cross-legged on the roof and watched the battle in the distance as he said. This overlord Shang Xiaoyun's strength is only at the third rank Jindan stage. The third rank versus the seventh rank. Tsk tsk tsk. To be honest, it's a little risky. Zhang Nan narrowed his eyes. Then, he fell silent. They did not say anything else and continued to watch the battle. The overlord held a shield in one hand and an axe in the other. He was like a wild beast. Demonic chi was wrapped around his muscular body. With a clear mind, the overlord, who had broken through to the heaven lock realm, had an extremely powerful fighting strength. Zhou Lu, on the other hand, was somewhat unrestrained. His brocade robe fluttered in the wind, and the sword in his hand was brandished so tightly that it could not be penetrated through. 
when he tapped on the overlord axe, he actually had the strength to push a thousand kilograms. Boom boom boom. The glazed roof of the imperial palace continued to shatter. A powerful aura spread out, and a faintly terrifying pressure was transmitted. The battle below seemed to have come to a standstill. The two of them fought from the roof to the ground. The force of the energy explosion shattered the ground into pieces. The overlord body was strong, cultivating the skylock. His spine was like a dragon, and his chi and blood were like a rainbow. The golden elixir realm was carefree and ethereal. The sword in Zhou Lu's hand was entirely silver white, emitting extreme sharpness. It was an extremely high quality spirit tool. The axe condensed by the overlord demonic chi would be cut open after being hit by the sword. Looking at the demonic axe that had been sliced off, the overlord frowned. He dispersed the demonic axe. He was thinking that perhaps, after this battle, he would have to find Gong Shu Yu to forge a spirit tool. However, in this battle, he would no longer be able to use his weapon. Without a weapon, he would use his physical body to attack. Zhou Lu held the sword with one hand and a jade crown on his head. His expression was cold and solemn. You have disappointed me a little. Zhou Lu opened his mouth and said. If it is only at this level, then you have no chance. Zhou Lu's words fell. His body instantly moved and actually turned into many afterimages. The sword light surged and the ground that was struck by it was shattering. The overlord clenched his fist and pushed out horizontally. Dong. The fist and the sword collided. The physical body that had been tempered by the body preservation realm made the physical body like fine iron. However, when the sword collided, blood appeared on the overlord fist, and a little bit of blood spilled out. However, the overlord didn't care at all. This level of damage was like a drizzle to him. Zhou Lu held the sword, and the sword wasn't stained with blood. His sword wasn't weaker than Ni Chongqing's dragon slayer. It was the magic weapon passed down from his small sect. It was also the foundation of his foothold, in the distance. Lu Yuanhao laughed. He forced Xu Chu and Shui Dao back with one move. Seeing Zhou Lu suppressing the overlord attack, his originally worried mood suddenly disappeared. It was stable. This battle was stable. What was the most terrifying thing about Western Liang? Wasn't it just the overlord? Lu Yuanhao narrowed his eyes. He glanced at Shui Dao, his eyes were ice cold. In the distance, Zhou Lu in the overlord battle, he did not continue to hold back. The aura of the seventh transformation of the golden core completely erupted, and a bright golden light spread out. The golden core floating above his head was like a small blazing sun. Vigorous energy spread out. A sword swept out. The impact caused the overlord to continuously retreat, causing the overlord body to be covered with terrifying scars. Admit defeat, or die. Zhou Lu was cold and ruthless. The tip of the sword was tactful, and it actually drew out one shocking sword light after another. The overlord blocked with both of his arms, and blood flowed continuously. However, after this battle, the overlord felt a faint sense of excitement surging from the bottom of his heart. He had indeed comprehended a third grade Dao intent. However, he didn't know how to use this Dao intent. And now, the overlord felt. As the beating continued to deepen, there was a faint sense of rebounding power accumulating. This is the third grade Dao intent. Unyielding. The overlord eyes lit up. Zhou Lu seemed to have also felt the overlord's strangeness. An unreserved attack. A 30 meter long sword chi swept over, and the entire imperial garden seemed as if it was about to be split open. The power within the golden core continued to fall. Puchi. The overlord took the attack head on and coughed out a mouthful of blood. Zhou Lu took a deep breath. Two fingers brushed across the body of the sword and the sword was pulled out. The sword actually flew out of his hand and shot towards the overlord. The speed was extremely fast, like a silver ray. Just like the legendary sword immortal, he rode the sword and slashed. The overlord eyes were sharp as he stared at this sword. He punched out and collided with the sword. Poochie. Blood splattered. This sword actually missed the fist of the overlord and pierced through the overlord chest. It passed through his body, and the tip of the sword was dripping with dark red blood. Zhou Lu's expression was cold. To be able to reach the tenth place on the man roll, he was also someone who was decisive in killing. The overlord combat strength might not be strong. However, 
Zhou Lu felt a faint sense of shock. It was a type of intuition, the intuition of a swordsman. In the distance, Liu Yuanhao's eyes were filled with excitement. He won? The overlord was about to die? However, after his excitement, his eyes flashed with suspicion. How could this be? Why wasn't the overlord, who had comprehended a third-grade Dao intent, as powerful as he had imagined? Liu Yuanhao had comprehended a sixth-grade Dao intent, and the amplification to his own strength was extremely terrifying. The overlord amplification should be stronger than his. In the distance, on the roof, Xiao Yue revealed a bored expression. The legendary overlord is only so-so. The power of a third-grade Dao intent is much weaker than I imagined. He can't even defeat Zhou Lu. Xiao Yue shook her head as if she was a little disappointed. Feng Yilu stared intently. Zhang Nan frowned as if he felt that something was wrong. Zhou Lu looked at the overlord whose body was pierced by his sword and shook his head. He didn't try to hide his disappointment. This battle had disappointed him greatly. He raised his hand, wanting to recall his sword, however. His spiritual sense surged. Zhou Lu's pupils suddenly constricted. He realized that he could no longer recall his spiritual artifact. A deep laugh suddenly came from the overlord body. You. Are that all? The overlord raised his head, and his hair fluttered in the wind. Ever since I, Shang Xiaoyun, set foot on the path of cultivation, I've been beaten up so badly that you can't even imagine it. You want to see my Dao Wu, right? The corners of the overlord mouth curled up slightly. Unyielding Dao will. The unyielding will to survive in a desperate situation. The overlord growled. In the next moment, a huge amount of energy surged up from his body. This energy was the energy that Zhou Lu had unleashed earlier, but at this moment, it was concentrated on the overlord body. Unyielding Dao intent, gathering the enemy's offensive power, a terrifying power that erupted in an instant. Dong. The ground beneath the overlord feet exploded, and gravel flew everywhere. That magic weapon Longsword was slowly pulled out by the overlord. The blade of the sword was gripped tightly by the overlord fist, and under the immense power, that magic weapon Longsword seemed to let out a mournful cry. Pucci. As the overlord power erupted, this sword actually gradually became dim. It was ruthlessly pulled out by the overlord and stabbed into the ground. The overlord raised his foot and stepped on the hilt of the sword. The immense power caused the hilt of the sword to sink into the ground. Zhou Lu's expression changed greatly. He tapped the ground with the tip of his foot and wanted to retreat. However, a suffocating feeling from the ground caused his movements to freeze. A burst of explosions sounded. The overlord seemed to have instantly disappeared from afar and reappeared beside him. Under the oppressive aura, the overlord punched out. A punch that wasn't flashy at all. Zhou Lu raised both of his arms to block with the cross. Kacha. Zhou Lu felt an irresistible power burst forth. This power was equivalent to the sum of all the offensive power he had unleashed earlier. Was this the power of a third grade Dao intent? Everything in the world became silent beside Zhou Lu's ears, leaving only the monologue in his heart. After that, a terrifying explosion resounded, the hurricane howled. The ground behind Zhou Lu cracked and caved in, and the pores on his body exploded with blood mist. A mouthful of blood spilled out from his mouth. The sound of the explosion exploded. Zhou Lu smashed fiercely into the wall of the Imperial Garden, and the wall collapsed. The entire Imperial Garden instantly fell silent. The smile on Lu Yuanhao's face froze. How? Did he lose just like that? The overlord clenched his fists. He had stacked the thickest armor, received the most vicious blows, received the most vicious blows, and was even able to gather all the power he received to explode. This was the third tier Dao intent, unyielding. The overlord stomped down, his body rumbled like thunder. In the ruins, Zhou Lu was covered in blood as he stood up. His eyes were filled with fear. However, he could only watch helplessly as the overlord closed in on him. That terrifying fist was continuously magnified in his eyes. Suddenly, the sound of a sonic boom resounded. A terrifying blade light slashed down from afar. Stop. Absolute blade sex Zhang Nan made his move. The blade chi tore through the ground as it slashed towards the overlord. Feng Yilu and Xiao Yue were slightly stunned. After that, 
They did not say anything but they also made their move at the same time. They could not watch helplessly as the person ranked 10th in the Tian Yuan region was beaten to death. This concerned the Tian Yuan region's reputation in the outer regions. The overlord glanced at them from the side and sneered. His hands did not stop moving. A fist smashed towards Zhou Lu's face. Just as Zhang Nan's blade aura was about to hit the overlord, a black blade fell from the sky. Unwilling to stab in front of the overlord, Zhang Nan's blade aura stood on the black blade and dispersed. He was wearing a white robe and had stubble all over his body. Ni Chongqing stood on the hilt of the blade and looked calmly at Zhang Nan, Feng Yilu, and the others. Hum. You dare to bully me, the five phoenixes, and no one else? A carefree and unruly laughter sounded, and dust filled the air. Kong Nanfei, who was dressed in a sloppy scholar's robe, appeared with a faint smile and blocked in front of Feng Yilu and Xiao Yue'er. In the distance, the overlord punch didn't stop at all, it carried a huge force. It smashed onto Zhou Lu's pale face. Chapter 314 Tested White Jade Capital's Attitude How strong was a third grade Dao intent? This. Lu Fan knew this best. After all, he had fused with many fourth grade and fifth grade Dao intents, but it was still difficult for him to condense a third grade Dao intent. This was enough to show how precious a third grade Dao intent was. This thing was like a talent that could only be encountered by chance. Lu Fan, who was floating in the boundless sea, didn't feel the battle in the imperial capital. Although he knew that a battle had occurred in the imperial capital, he didn't want to care about it. It was time for them to develop the world on their own. As for Ni Yu and Ning Zhao watching the battle with the heavenly mirror, it was to prevent them from being separated from the world. Lu Fan calmed his heart and calmly arranged the board game. The yin yang game was very difficult. Every time he arranged the chess game, Lu Fan would be able to comprehend a lot. There were two different moves, and Zan Su guided the two moves. When Lu Fan arranged the chess game, his spiritual sense seemed to be guided by the chess pieces and the chess moves. It split into yin and yang, one black moving above and the other white moving below. Every time Lu Fan placed a chess piece, his soul would be baptized by tremors. It was very rare to cultivate a cultivation method that was specifically used to cultivate the soul and perception. In fact, Lu Fan was very curious. How was the chess game in the Yi Tian Force recorded? And who was the one who was playing against whom? From the first game of the mountain and river game, it was a gradual and orderly feeling. Although the chess game looked simple, the meaning contained within was completely unusual. The system introduced that the Yi Tian Force was only a mystic rank mental cultivation method, but Lu Fan felt that it was not just that. However, Lu Fan hadn't even thoroughly studied Yi Tian Force, so he didn't delve into this problem. It wasn't high enough, so there was no point in delving into it. On the island in the center of the lake, Ni Yu and Ning Zhao stared at the battle in the heavenly mirror. Third grade Dao intent. So strong. Ning Zhao's expression was serious. The overlord third grade Dao intent had actually gathered all the damage Zhou Lu had dealt to him and instantly killed Zhou Lu. Zhou Lu, who was as strong as a rank 7 golden core, was actually unable to withstand overlord punch. Sister Ning. Is Dao intent really that strong? Ni Yu couldn't help but click her tongue. This made her, who had originally planned to slack off, feel embarrassed to do so. From this battle, you can naturally see that the stronger the Dao intent, the stronger the amplification of the battle. Ning Zhao said, however, what we're going to do next, isn't very beneficial to the overlord and the others. After Ning Zhao finished speaking, she raised her head and looked at the white jade capital pavilion where Lu Fan was. Of course, all of this depended on whether Lu Fan's retreat was real or not. To a large extent, these people seemed to be testing Lu Fan's thoughts. Ning Zhao couldn't say anything either. She could only continue to look at the situation in the heavenly mirror. Imperial capital, imperial garden. The overlord terrifying fist contained a powerful force. It smashed towards Zhou Lu's head. Bang! The fist landed solidly. Poochie. Zhou Lu only felt an intense pain spread through his head and lost consciousness. In reality, the entire imperial garden was completely silent. In the distance, Zhang Nan's expression was extremely unsightly. Zhou Lu was dead. 
His entire head had been blown apart by the overlord punch, and his corpse weakly smashed onto the ground. Tian Yuan region, ranked 10th on the man roll, died in battle in the outer regions. Xiao Yue'er's face was slightly pale. This was the first person to die in battle after the geniuses of Tian Yuan region had entered the outer regions. Moreover, he was ranked 10th on the man roll, and his status and identity were very sensitive. Ni Chongqing stood on the dragon slayer, his face expressionless. Kong Nanfei was dressed in a sloppy scholar's robe, he had a faint smile on his face. Zhou Lu's death had no effect on them, they were not familiar with Zhou Lu. I told you to stop. Zhang Nan stared at the overlord and said coldly. The overlord knew that Zhang Nan had always been ranked high on the progress stone tablet of Dead Spirit City. However, the overlord was not afraid. You want to die with him? The overlord said disdainfully. The overlord was not surprised by Zhang Nan and the other's actions. Now, the five phoenixes and Tian Yuan maintained a delicate balance. In fact, the white jade capital's concealment had a huge impact on the entire world. It was not just the five phoenixes that were stirring. Tian Yuan's forces stationed in the five phoenixes also made a move. Do you know the consequences of killing Zhou Lu? Can you bear this responsibility? Zhang Nan said coldly. He held the large saber on his back, and the aura on his body was constantly rising. A golden core appeared above his head. Nine ripples were shaking. Nine Transformation Golden Core. The Tian Yuan region's heaven's pride, number one on the man roll. A terrifying aura swept out, and the cultivators fighting in the Imperial Garden all held their breaths. Xiao Yue's face was pale as she shook her head. You shouldn't have killed Zhou Lu. This will cause a conflict between the Tian Yuan region and the Five Phoenixes. The overlord stood still, his eyes filled with arrogance and coldness. Why didn't you stop this person's sword when it pierced through my chest? Only allow him to kill me? Not allow me to kill him? What logic is that? If you don't kill this person, then leave him for the new year? The overlord words resounded, in the imperial garden. Shu Chu immediately coughed up blood and laughed out loud. Yes, your majesty. Kill the F asterisk CK. I, Shi Liang, have no cowards. Shu Chu roared. Zhang Nan did not speak. He actually wanted to say, the weak should have the awareness of the weak. However, he thought of White Jade Capital, that force that even sect master Yi Shudao was extremely afraid of. Hence, he retracted his words. Although the White Jade Capital said that they had gone into seclusion, but who knew if the White Jade Capital would suddenly return? It was said that the master of the White Jade Capital had a bad temper. Ni Chongqing and Kong Nanfei looked at them calmly. From their point of view, the overlord belonged to the Five Phoenix Continent. If the people of the Tian Yuan domain wanted to kill the overlord, they naturally wouldn't just stand by and watch. The overlord gaze swept over with a cold intent. It was as if there were lightning arcs moving within. Zhang Nan laughed. Since that's the case, let's talk about reason. Only those with big fists are qualified to talk about reason. Zhang Nan said. After he finished speaking, he moved. His body suddenly shot out from the roof like the sound of a bowstring being pulled. His body turned into an arc as he executed a movement technique. He smashed down from a distance. He raised the large saber in his hand and a terrifying wind blew towards the overlord. As a genius disciple of the Absolute Saber sect, the large saber in Zhang Nan's hand was not an ordinary object. This large saber weighed over a thousand jin. It suddenly slashed down as if it wanted to split a mountain apart and his saber intent also suddenly erupted. Zhang Nan did not comprehend Dao intent, but he had his own saber intent. Although it had not reached the level of Dao intent. However, it was not weak. A blade master's attack was not weak at all. Ni Chongqing moved. His body floated out like a withered leaf and landed on the ground. With a wave of his hand, he slashed the dragon and charged forward. Buzz. Ni Chongqing's eyes stared at Zhang Nan's slash. Many scenes flashed past his eyes. It was his first time entering the Tian Yuan, and he was chased by the Martial Emperor City's disciples like a stray dog. Then, there was the scene of him barging into the Martial Emperor City alone and fighting with the inner court disciples of the Martial Emperor City on the life and death ring. Every time he went all out, he was always in danger. Lu Fan had brought Bai Yu Jing to hide, but he did not take Ni Chongqing with him. 
Ni Chongqing knew very well that the young master's goal was to train him and make him stronger. Dragon slaying. Ni Chongqing held the dragon slaying saber in his hand and shouted in a low voice. Saber Chi whistled. The saber intent brought with it a sharp and extremely powerful destructive power as it collided with Zhang Nan's large saber. The collision between the two sabermen and the clash of two saber intents. Boom. The ground exploded, sand and rocks flew, and a powerful wind blew. Zhang Nan's body was stable and unmoving. Meanwhile, Ni Chongqing took half a step back. The winner was decided immediately. Although Ni Chongqing had broken through quite a lot in the Nine Prisons secret realm, he had only just reached the Five Extreme Heavenly Lock and was trying to break through the most important Six Extreme. The Five Extreme to Six Extreme Heavenly Lock was a hurdle. In the Jindan stage, a fifth transformation Jindan could break through to the Yuanyang stage, but such a Yuanyang could only be said to be average. Therefore, the fifth was a turning point. Whether it was for the Jindan stage or the Heaven Lock realm, it was the same. Zhang Nan was a rank 9 Jindan. He had experienced four transformations from rank 5 and half a foot into the Yuanying stage. Ni Chongqing was still a bit weaker. The collision of this move made the atmosphere in the Imperial Garden become more and more serious. The Overlord took a step forward, and the remaining power in his body began to surge. Come at me. The Overlord eyes were bright as he said. He took one step at a time, and demonic chi surrounded him. Ni Chongqing frowned and raised his dragon-slaying sword once again. Kong Nanfei smiled and opened his mouth. Milky white air currents surged and transformed into a horn sword. The atmosphere was extremely tense. There was a great sense of urgency as if a battle was about to break out at any moment. Suddenly, Feng Yilu from Martial Emperor City took a step forward and smiled lightly to mediate the situation. A dead man cannot be brought back to life. Everyone, take a step back. This battle is indeed Zhou Lu's own fault. Feng Yilu's words eased the atmosphere at the scene. Xiao Yu'er looked at Feng Yilu in confusion. She did not expect Feng Yilu to come out and mediate the situation. In the past, Feng Yilu was someone who felt uncomfortable without fighting. Zhang Nan, on the other hand, seemed to have thought of something. Feng Yilu was reminding him to pay attention to the white jade capital behind Ni Chong Ching. His eyes moved slightly. Zhang Nan's gaze shifted horizontally. He raised his heavy broadsword and stared at the overlord. However, the overlord was not afraid at all. Zhang Nan's final gaze landed on Ni Chong Ching. Then, give the white jade capital some face, Zhang Nan said. As soon as he finished speaking, the large saber was carried on his back. But, killing Zhou Lu can be a big or small matter. Zhou Lu is the only disciple of the Kang Sword Sect that entered the man ranking, and he's their hope. The sect leader of the Kang Sword Sect won't let you off so easily. You have to know. People who have lost their hope are the craziest. Zhang Nan's words had a deeper meaning. Then, his body suddenly moved like a bowstring and disappeared from where he was. Seeing Zhang Nan leave, Xiao Yu'er did not stay any longer. Feng Yilu took a deep look at Ni Chongqing. He and Ni Chongqing could be considered old acquaintances. After the talents on the human role of the Tian Yuan domain left, the tense atmosphere in the Imperial Garden instantly sank. The overlord narrowed his eyes, the meaning in his eyes surging. Ni Chongqing carried his saber, his face expressionless. Kong Nanfei shook his head and muttered something. The two of them did not say anything to the overlord and left one after another. Thank you. The overlord looked at Ni Chongqing and Kong Nanfei's departing figures and cupped his hands. Overlord, you should take care of yourself. Kong Nanfei turned his head and smiled. The overlord seemed to be deep in thought. On the other side, Lu Yuanao had already escaped. The instant the overlord killed Zhou Lu with one punch, Lu Yuanao felt his hair stand on end. Although Zhang Nan might make a move later, he did not place his hopes on Zhang Nan and the others. When the overlord confronted Zhang Nan and the others, he immediately fled, leading a few black dragon guards to escape from the Imperial Garden. Without top tier combat strength, the black dragon cult could not deal with the overlord. At the overlord level, numbers were no longer enough to decide the battle. The overlord turned around, and the remaining black dragon cult members and soldiers did not have any desire to fight. They all disarmed and knelt down. After all, 
even Liu Yuanhao had escaped, so there was no need for them to risk their lives. All of you are to be sent to prison. Force me to find out all of the Black Dragon Cult's strongholds in the Imperial Capital. Kill the people of Xiliang, you will have to pay with your life sooner or later. The overlord said coldly. Yes. The bleeding Shang family soldiers of Xiliang straightened their necks and roared. The war in the Imperial Garden ended in an instant. Liu Yuanhao's idea was good. He wanted to use Zhou Lu to restrain the overlord, but he did not expect the overlord to kill Zhou Lu. In addition, Liu Yuanhao also did not expect that Dan Taizong, who was in charge of Dan Taizong, would not only not add insult to injury, but instead send charcoal in the snow. They actually sent troops to reinforce Ziliang. Liu Yuanhao was very unwilling, but there was nothing he could do. If he lost, he lost. He took the remaining experts of the Black Dragon cult and left the imperial capital. He did not even dare to go to Wolong Ridge. After all, he had offended the overlord. If he went to the Wolong Ridge again, he would probably be beaten to death. However, Liu Yuanhao did not give up, he was waiting. Zhou Lu's death was not a bad thing for him. The sect behind Zhou Lu would not let the overlord off easily. Hence, he only needed to lie low and wait for an opportunity. Shui Dao brought the remaining black tortoise guards to meet the overlord. Pass a message to the Beishuan king for me. Tell him that this favor. I will remember it. Also, tell him to be careful. Liu Yuanhao is a vicious person. This time, he might hold a grudge against Liu Yuanhao for helping West Liang. Beishuan King's Cultivation. N, forget it, protect him well. The overlord said. Shui Dao's expression was serious as he cupped his hands and led the troops away. The overlord return gave the Xiliang army a backbone. From the Dragon Gate, the Ziliang cavalry entered the capital one after another, their iron armor completely cleaning up the remnants of the Black Dragon Cult in the Imperial capital. The Black Dragon Cult's vitality was greatly damaged, and the overlord didn't speak any logic, killing anyone he met. Fresh blood once again dyed the imperial capital, this ancient city, red. The experts from the aristocratic families who were watching this scene all retreated. The news spread to the various aristocratic families. The overlord used a third-grade Dao intent to kill a seventh-rank Golden Core Realm Tian Yuan foreign land genius, shocking the world and making the world once again realize the importance of a sequence Dao intent. Zhang Nan and the other ninth-rank Golden Core Realm geniuses were scared off by the name of White Jade Capital, but it also made the world marvel at the power of White Jade Capital. Although it had been hidden for several months, the pressure still made the world fearful. The Overlord had taken control of the Imperial Capital. Outside the Imperial Capital, the aristocratic families that had colluded with the Black Dragon Cult were in trouble. The Overlord Ziliang cavalry roared as they trampled on them. One aristocratic family after another was destroyed by the overlord cavalry. Three days later, what shocked everyone even more was that the overlord made another decision. He ordered the Ziliang army to withdraw from the imperial capital, raise their troops, and return to the Ziliang prefecture. The imperial capital, which had lost its authority, was undoubtedly a huge temptation. Some of the aristocratic families from other places could not help but move into the imperial capital, causing this ancient city, which had been the imperial capital of many dynasties, to enter an era under the jurisdiction of the aristocratic families. Dot dot. Dongyang County. A city built on a blessed land. A grey-robed elder walked up to the city and knelt on the ground in front of the tightly shut gate of the martial emperor city. The old sect master of the grey sword sect, Zhou Heisheng, requests to see city lord du of martial emperor city, I beg City Lord Du to seek justice for our Grey Sword sect. The grey-robed old man's shrill voice resounded throughout the entire outside of Martial Emperor City. However, the city gate of Martial Emperor City was already tightly shut. The grey-robed old man knelt outside the city for three days and left with his back hunched in disappointment. After the old man left, after Martial Emperor City, a nascent soul realm cultivator floated into the inner part of Martial Emperor City. Du Longyang sat cross-legged on a praying mat, deep in thought. City Lord, sect leader Zhou has already left, the nascent soul realm elder said respectfully. After a long while, Du Longyang opened his eyes. Sigh. This matter can't be managed. The giant whale hunchback Immortal Island and the white jade capital have retreated to the sea. However, 
it's still unclear what the white jade capital's attitude is now. Moreover, young master Lu warned me before he went into seclusion, so this matter, can't be managed by martial emperor city. Let's wait and see. At the very least, we have to find out the attitude of the white jade capital. Du Longyang's words caused the nascent soul realm elder's heart to tremble. He lowered his head and became even more respectful. In the Palace of Heaven's Expanse Palace, the grey-robed elder was kneeling outside the Palace of Heaven's Expanse Palace and was stopped by two female soldiers. He had also come to the Palace of Heaven's Expanse Palace to seek justice. However, the Empress did not see him at all. The grey-robed elder's expression was miserable as he retreated and left. After that, he went to the Heavenly Void Palace and the Absolute Saber Sect. The result was the same. Among the four top factions in the Tian Yuan region, not a single faction was willing to seek justice for his Kang Sword Sect. Or rather, not a single faction was willing to stand out. Outside Dongyang County, looking at the boundless sea, the old man revealed a bitter smile. The most outstanding disciple of the Kang Sword Sect, who was also the one who had the most hope of bringing the Kang Sword Sect up, had died just like that. When he died of old age, the Kangjian sect would be completely desolate, and even reduced to an unrated sect. The old man was unwilling. He changed into a grey robe and a black tight suit, and his hunched back slowly straightened. He wiped clean the sword that belonged to Zhou Lu that had been sent back. He wiped it well, and it was spotless. Then, he sat cross-legged in the air. He placed the clean sword on his legs. His old eyes were filled with sadness and killing intent. He floated towards Westshire, Chapter 315, Killing Zhou Lu, This King Has No Regrets. Northern County, Mount Tai. Shui Dao walked out of the Azure Dragon Gate, his entire body covered in blood, and arrived at the peak of Mount Tai. Your Majesty, the matter has been settled. The Black Dragon Cult was defeated, the Overlord was incomparably valiant, and his fist killed a rank 7 Golden Dan on the man roll. Shui Dao knelt on one knee and said solemnly. Tantai Zan put down the teacup in his hand, took a few steps forward, and helped him up. Shui Dao could not help but say, Your Majesty, the Overlord is so powerful. I'm afraid that no one in the world can stop him. What he meant was that Western Liang was after all a strong enemy of Da Zan. He did not know whether Tantai Zan's deployment of troops this time was good or bad. Tantai Zan paced on the mountaintop and looked at the Da Zan College below. His gaze was somewhat profound, but he did not answer Shui Dao's words. After a long silence, Shui Dao found it difficult to endure this strange atmosphere. Finally, Tantai Zan spoke. However, the problem had nothing to do with Western Liang. The leader of the Black Dragon Cult, Lu Yuanhao, doesn't seem to be dead. I heard that the Black Dragon Cult is a remnant of the Black Dragon Guards, and it has some relations with Great Zan. Give the order to send people to keep an eye on the situation in the Great Zon region. Once the disciples of the Black Dragon Cult enter Great Zon, immediately send out troops to attack them. The world has always maintained a delicate balance, but the Black Dragon Cult has muddled this pool of clear water. What I hate the most is this kind of fanning the flames and stirring up trouble. Moreover, the Black Dragon Cult will definitely hold a grudge against Great Zon when they send troops, so there's nothing to hesitate about. Rather than letting the Black Dragon Cult deal with me, it's better for me to kill him first. If you encounter the Black Dragon Cult, beat him to death. Tantai Zan said. Shui Dao stood solemnly when he heard this. Yes, General. Then, Shui Dao bowed and retreated step by step, leaving the peak of Mount Tai. Beating the Black Dragon Cult, Tantai Zan's order made Shui Dao excited. After Shui Dao left, Tantai Zan stood at the peak of the mountain his gaze couldn't help but frown. He looked to the east. A gentle breeze blew gently, fluttering the long robe on his body. He had a faint feeling that a storm was about to come. Black Dragon Cult. Heavenly Yuan Foreign Land. Tantai Zan exhaled slowly. This fishpond-like world was about to be troubled. South County. Tang Xianshang was watering the flowers in the backyard. He carried a wooden bucket and scooped out a spoonful of water from it, watering it gently. Tang Guo was sitting on a wooden chair, nibbling on a fruit. Suddenly, the clanging of footsteps came from outside the courtyard. A commander of the South Mansion Army wearing armor stepped into the courtyard. Governor. 
This commander knelt on one knee on the ground and said respectfully. You're back. Tang Xianshang did not turn his head. He continued to scoop out a spoonful of water to water the flowers. The overlord unleashed his divine might. His third grade Dao intent was extremely terrifying. He killed a rank 7 golden core on the man roll with his fist. The black dragon cult escaped from the imperial capital and Xiliang won a great victory. The commander of the South Manor army told Tang Xianshang about the chaos in the imperial capital. Tang Xianshang finally put down the wooden bucket. He actually killed a rank 7 golden core on the man roll. Tang Xianshang clasped his hands behind his back and slowly paced back and forth. He returned to the rocking chair and lay comfortably on it. I wonder what the attitude of the forces in the Tianyuan foreign lands will be like. Is the person who died a disciple of one of the four forces in the foreign lands? Tang Xianshang asked. The commander seemed to have known that Tang Xianshang would ask this question. He immediately told him the contents of the investigation. Zhou Lu, the eldest senior brother of the Blue Sword sect, a seventh transformation golden core, is known as the genius who has the best chance to lead the Blue Sword sect into a first-rate force in the Tian Yuan foreign land. When Tang Xianshang heard this, his eyes flashed slightly. I heard that the four forces in the foreign land are called holy lands, and the other forces listen to the orders of the four forces. Perhaps the Blue Sword sect will seek justice from the four holy lands. However, there is a greater possibility that the Kang Sword sect will become a pawn pushed out by the four great holy lands. A pawn to test the attitude of White Jade Capital. Tang Xianshang spoke slowly, as if he was talking to himself. However, no matter what, Tang Xianshang was very clear that the world was about to fall into chaos. After a long while, Tang Xianshang looked at the commander who was kneeling on the ground and said slowly, Go to Wolong Ridge. The world is about to fall into chaos. Let Yimo return. The commander was slightly stunned. However, he still bowed and retreated. Tang Guo, who was sitting on a chair and eating fruit, could not help but light up. Big brother is coming back? For a moment, he was so happy that he forgot to eat the fruit. Tang Xianshang stretched out his hand and rubbed Tang Guo's head. Origin Lake. Lake Heart Island. Lu Fan, who was setting up the Yin Yang Bureau, was suddenly shocked. In front of him, a line of system notifications flashed past. Congratulations, host, for completing the side mission. There is no more white jade capital in the world. You have left a legend of awe in the world and obtained the reward, heaven overturning formation. When Lu Fan heard this, he stopped his move and raised his eyebrows. He threw the chess piece into the chess box, leaned against the Thousand Blades chair, and placed his palm on the arm guard. Has the side mission been completed? Lu Fan was deep in thought. His mind moved. A set of array arrangement plan appeared in his mind. The name of the array was, Overturning the Sky. It sounded very grand. This was the first time Lu Fan had gotten the array method from the system. Previously, when Lu Fan used the array, he used the runes in the preaching platform to set up the array, relying on his own understanding to activate the array. For a moment, Lu Fan's heart was filled with anticipation and curiosity. Heaven Overturning Formation One of the four heaven-destroying formations, Earth Rank Defensive Formation. Lu Fan looked at the system's introduction of the formation and his brows furrowed. The four heaven-destroying formations. This is actually just a formation. A formation is Earth Rank. Lu Fan took a deep breath. Then what level of formation would the four heaven-destroying formations be? Most importantly, Lu Fan realized that the heaven-overturning formation only said Earth Rank, not Earth Rank. In other words, the strength of the heaven-overturning formation depended on the level of the person who set it up. Lu Fan rubbed the Yuzan ring as he pondered. He put away the spiritual pressure chessboard. He focused his mind on the mission platform and began to study the heaven overturning formation like a child who had found a new toy. In the teaching platform, Lu Fan's robe was floating as he sat upright on the eight trigrams formation platform. The operation method of the heaven overturning formation appeared in his mind. Qian, Dewey, Li, Zhen, Xuan, Khan, Zhen, Kun. Lu Fan chanted. Clouds rose and the wind surged. The eight trigrams runes followed his body and continuously circled around, starting to set up the heaven overturning formation. The difficulty was not high. With the current strength of Lu Fan's soul, 
after more than 10 attempts, he finally succeeded in building the formation model. However, what made Lu Fan different was. This formation actually needed an Earth-grade spiritual tool to be the formation core. At this moment, Lu Fan was somewhat enlightened. It turned out that the power of the heaven overturning formation depended on the arrangement of the formation core spiritual tool. This caused Lu Fan to fall into a solemn mood for a moment. Because, with his current refining level, he did not know if he could create an earth-grade spiritual tool. In short, setting up the heaven overturning formation was a huge challenge for him. West County. By the East Yan River. Luo Mingsang stood there, her skirt fluttering in the wind as she looked at the Dragon Gate. Finally, when she saw the overlord in the army of Xiliang that was guarding the imperial capital retreat from the Dragon Gate, Luo Mingsang's tensed heart suddenly relaxed. It was good that she was fine. The Black Dragon cult dared to attack the overlord even though they knew that he had already comprehended the third grade Dao intent. It was obvious that they had a backup plan. As expected, Luo Mingsang soon learned that Lu Yuanhao had colluded with the genius on the man role to deal with the overlord. Fortunately, the overlord had returned alive. The overlord walked out of the dragon gate. He couldn't help but smile when he saw Luo Mingsang. He arranged the army that had returned from the imperial capital. He rewarded Shu Chu with a lot of spirit stones for him to heal his wounds. The overlord and Luo Mingsang had a good discussion. Luo Mingsang was fine, and the overlord felt relieved. I killed Zhou Lu. Things won't be over so soon. The overlord sat in the tent and said seriously. Behind Zhou Lu, there's another sect in the Tian Yuan foreign land called the Blue Sword Sect. Their sect leader is a Yuanying realm expert. Yuanying is above the Skylock realm. Nowadays, other than the hidden white jade capital, no one in the five phoenixes is in the Yuanying realm. The overlord said. Inside the tent, the generals of Xiliang sucked in a breath of cold air. Your majesty, are you saying that this Yuanying realm expert will take revenge for his disciple? Your majesty, I, Xiliang, am not afraid of anyone. If he dares to come, the 100,000 cavalrymen of Xiliang are not to be trifled with. The generals all patted the table and said solemnly. Worry appeared on Luo Mingsang's brows. She was not as optimistic as these generals. Although the overlord had comprehended the third grade Dao intent, could he really defeat a Yuanying stage cultivator? Just like body constitution, could he defeat Tian Suo? It was hard to say. The higher one's realm was, the harder it was to cross realms to fight enemies. The overlord seemed to know this as well. He raised his hand and lightly pressed down. Although I provoked a nascent soul realm, this king doesn't regret it. Although Zhou Lu was bewitched by the Black Dragon sect, since he's an enemy, this king won't be merciful. If he's merciful, then this king will die. Thus, this king has no regrets in killing Zhou Lu. However, if that blue sword sect's nascent soul realm really comes to kill, this king will move the battlefield to the boundless desert. If this king dies, you all will keep a low profile. Don't let Xiliang be destroyed. The overlord said solemnly. His words were actually somewhat sorrowful, causing the eyes of many generals to turn red. Your Majesty. There are no cowards in Xiliang. We want to live and die together with Your Majesty. Xu Chu slammed the table and stood up, shouting. The overlord glared at him. Xu Chu's nostrils puffed out air as he slowly sat down. Are you all disobeying my orders? The overlord glanced at everyone in the tent, his eyes sharp and oppressive. Everyone was speechless. I'm not stupid. The appearance of this nascent soul realm is very likely to be a test from the Tian Yuan foreign land. The overlord said slowly. Luo Mingsang heard this and her long eyelashes trembled. Test. She, who was smart, quickly guessed. Are the four holy lands of the Tian Yuan foreign land testing the attitude of the white jade capital? Luo Mingsang was very serious, as soon as she finished her words. The atmosphere in the tent immediately became gloomy. Young Master Lu is hiding with the white jade capital, but it's hard to say whether he's really hiding or not. He doesn't care about worldly affairs. And compared to the foreign lands of the Tian Yuan foreign land, the cultivation world of the five phoenixes is too weak. Once I lose and young Master Lu doesn't make a move, perhaps, in the future, the lives of the five phoenix cultivators will become more and more difficult. This may also be the training that young Master Lu left for the five phoenix cultivation world. However, 
This king still has to block this battle. The overlord clenched his fists, and his body actually had some sonorous battle intent engulfing the large tent. The heavy atmosphere lingered, and the generals didn't know what to say. F asterisk CK, on what basis? If this nascent soul stage wants to look for trouble, he should look for the black dragon cult leader, Lu Yuanhao. It was he who instigated Zhou Lu to come and kill the king. Could it be that the king is obediently letting him be killed? He's really unreasonable. Xu Chu's burly body was wrapped in bandages, and he said somewhat unwillingly. Reason. A fist is reason. The overlord glanced at Xu Chu. Moreover, Zhou Lu did indeed die under this king's fist. Moreover, if this king dies, that nascent soul realm might not spare that black dragon sect's Lu Yuanhao. Everything is only a matter of time. The overlord said. He didn't say too much. The overlord quickly dismissed the meeting. He left Xiliang after saying something to Luo Mingsang. He arrived at Wolong Ridge through the Dragon Gate. He arrived at a small mountain peak outside Wolong Ridge. The mountain peak wasn't a paradise, and the density of the spiritual energy was just average. However, among all the forces in the world, one of the four pavilions, the Pavilion of Heavenly Secrets, was on top of it. He walked step by step to the top of the stone stairs. Lu Mu tapped his wooden staff lightly and looked at the overlord who was climbing up the stone stairs. King Shang, long time no see. Lu Mu smiled at the overlord. Behind him, Luo Mingyue, who was wearing a veil, looked at the overlord with mixed emotions. The overlord smiled and cupped his hands towards Lu Mu. The two of them discussed for a long time on the mountaintop. Then, Lu Mu asked the overlord to bring Luo Mingyue away from the Pavilion of Heavenly Secrets. Before he left, the overlord asked Lu Mu Dui for a divination. However, Lu Mu Dui shook his head, divination, the overlord shouldn't have come to me. When the overlord heard that, his expression froze. After that, he brought Luo Mingyu, who was holding a lute, and turned around to leave. The wind on the mountain peak blew gently, feeling a little cool. The beautiful woman walked over and glanced at Lu Mu Dui. You just let him take Ming Yu away like that. The beautiful woman said. He won't harm Ming Yu. He brought Ming Yu back to Ziliang. He just wants a guarantee. Lu Mu's gaze was deep and complicated as he said. Guarantee. The beautiful woman was somewhat puzzled. After all, Ming Yu once received guidance from young master Lu. She can be considered half a disciple of the white jade capital. If she were in Ziliang, once the overlord is defeated, the experts of the Tian Yuan foreign region will be somewhat afraid and won't dare to start a massacre in Ziliang. Lu Mu sighed to each other. The overlord is planning his funeral arrangements in advance, to prevent future trouble. When the beautiful woman heard this, she was stunned. The overlord will be defeated. Lu Mu looked at the beautiful woman as if he was looking at a fool. Do you think the overlord is young master Lu? The sect master of Blue Sword Sect, Zhou Haisheng, is an old nascent soul stage cultivator. The gap between the nascent soul stage and Sky Lock is even greater than the gap between Sky Lock and Body Treasure. Zhou Lu is Zhou Haisheng's grandson, and he is the hope for the rise of the Azure Sword Sect. Now that his grandson has been killed, the hope for the rise of the sect has been snuffed out. Tell me, do you think Zhou Haisheng will show mercy to the Overlord? I did a divination earlier. The battle of the overlord is doomed. Lu Mu sighed and shook his head. The overlord brought Luo Mingyue to Western Liang. Soon, he left again. He was pressed for time. He could feel that there were dark clouds coming from the east of the continent. Luo Mingsang held Luo Mingyu's hand. The two sisters had not seen each other for a long time, so they were unfamiliar with each other. However, blood was thicker than water, so they soon got to know each other. The overlord came to the secret realm of Wolong Ridge. Lu Mu asked him to find someone. The overlord had actually guessed who that person was. Looking at the mysterious and magnificent secret realm of the Wolong Ridge, this was a secret realm set up by immortals. The overlord could actually choose to stay in the secret realm of the Wolong Ridge for his entire life. In the secret realm, one could not fight, not even a nascent soul realm. However, he could not rest assured about Xiliang. Therefore, he had to face this great calamity. Zhang Nan, Xiao Yuer, and the others walked out from the second prison gate. When they saw the overlord, their expressions were somewhat cold. 
The confrontation in the imperial capital's imperial garden had caused the temperature between the two sides to drop to freezing point. The overlord sat cross-legged in the secret realm of the Wolong Ridge. He had waited for almost a day. The overlord's eyes suddenly lit up. He saw a figure with his chest exposed, walking out of the second prison gate with steps that did not recognize his family. This person was none other than Mo Tianyu, who had comprehended a fourth grade sequence Dao intent. P.S. I'm busy with a few things today. I'll start typing as soon as I'm done. There's still one more shift at night. Chapter 316 Overlord seeks weapons, and the Universal Sword comes. Wolong Ridge. Cultivators from various factions sat cross legged. In this place, no one dared to easily erupt into battle. After all, this was a mystic realm set up by immortals to nurture powerful cultivators. It could be said that Wolong Ridge could be considered an extremely safe place in the world today. The Overlord sat cross legged outside Wolong Ridge. For a day and a night, many cultivators looked sideways. The news of the Overlord killing Zhou Lu with a single punch had long spread. The five Phoenix cultivators were secretly excited. However, the cultivators of the Tian Yuan region did not have any good expressions towards the Overlord. The Overlord killing Zhou Lu was undoubtedly a slap to the face of the cultivators of the Tian Yuan region. Originally, the cultivators of the Tian Yuan region had an inexplicable sense of superiority in the Five Phoenix Continent. But now, the Overlord battle results were like a ruthless stomp on their faces filled with a sense of superiority. However, Zhang Nan, Xiao Yue and the other top-tier experts on the man role did not make a move, and the others did not make a move either. Those who could make it onto the man role were not ordinary characters. It was very obvious that they had already guessed what would happen next. Compared to Zhou Lu's identity, they understood him better than the cultivators of the Five Phoenix Continent. Zhou Lu is dead. There is no successor for the Blue Sword Sect. Sect Master Zhou Haisheng will definitely not let the Overlord off. A life for a life, not to mention killing a genius of my Tian Yuan. I heard that the Sect Master of the Blue Sword Sect, Zhou Haisheng, is already on his way here. He wants to use the blood of the Overlord to pay tribute to the dead Zhou Lu. The cultivation geniuses of the Tian Yuan sect were all whispering to each other. The Overlord ignored them. He had waited for a day, and finally, Mo Tianyu came out from the prison gate to get some fresh air. Mr. Mo, can we have a chat? The Overlord looked at the unruly Mo Tianyu and said. Mo Tianyu understood what the Overlord wanted to do. He smiled and turned his body sideways to make a welcoming gesture. Zhang Nan, Xiao Yuer, and the others were puzzled. Why was the overlord looking for Mo Tianyu? Although, Mo Tianyu had comprehended the fourth grade sequence Dao intent, the Dao intent of defying fate, Mo Tianyu's strength was still too weak. He was only at the foundation establishment realm. How could he be qualified to be the overlord helper? From Zhang Nan and Xiao Yuer's point of view, the Overlord was also looking for Ni Chongqing, Kong Nanfei, and the others to help him. The wind from a nascent Soul Realm expert slap would probably be enough to kill a Foundation Establishment Realm expert. The Overlord brought Mo Tianyu out of the secret realm of the Wolong Ridge. The two of them arrived at the top of a quiet mountain peak. Overlord, what business do you have with me? Mo Tianyu sat cross-legged with a turtle shell in one hand and three copper treasures in the other. I'd like to ask Mr. to perform a divination. Overlord said. This was the purpose of his search for Mo Tianyu. Divination, fortune telling. This matter was very ethereal. However, with the appearance of the cultivation world, this seemingly ethereal matter had become very real. Fortune telling? Mo Tianyu actually smiled in surprise. There was actually someone who dared to look for him to read his fortune? Did the sun rise from the west? The Overlord told Mo Tian Yu about the incident that occurred after he killed Zhou Lu. After Mo Tian Yu heard this, he laughed casually. The Overlord wants to calculate the bad luck of the battle with a nascent soul stage cultivator? Mo Tian Yu said. The Overlord nodded. Mo Tian Yu's eyes couldn't help but light up as he pulled his sleeve. He sat cross legged. He stuffed the three copper treasures into the turtle shell and started to shake it continuously. The copper treasures continued to collide with each other within the turtle shell, producing all kinds of clanging sounds. Finally, they were sent flying. 
Mo Tianyu flicked his fingers. Every time he flicked his fingers, wisps of spiritual energy would shoot out and hit the copper treasures. After a long while, the copper treasures fell. They were suddenly grabbed by Mo Tianyu and pressed into his hand. The overlord held his breath. Mo Tianyu's divination was extremely accurate. However, one had to look at it from the other side. Many people were very clear about this matter. Overlord was naturally clear as well. Therefore, Overlord only hoped to be extremely vicious this time. Mo Tianyu opened his palm. On it, three copper treasures were slowly pushed aside by him. Mo Tianyu pinched his fingers and his expression instantly became grim. How is it? Overlord asked. Mo Tianyu shook his head. This battle is hard to say. The divination shows. Great fortune. Mo Tianyu said, great fortune? Overlord was delighted at first, but when he thought of Mo Tianyu's divination, he felt as if he had eaten a fly. Great fortune was supposed to be a lucky divination, but in Mo Tianyu's mouth, it was exactly the same as a near-death divination. Although the sense of disharmony was very strong, Overlord heart was also much clearer. This battle. There really isn't any chance. Overlord took a deep breath. However, his eyes quickly sharpened, although he obtained an answer that he didn't really want from Mo Tianyu. But Overlord didn't give up. Even if this life was really destined for him to lose, Overlord still wanted to fight with this life. After Overlord thanked Mo Tianyu, he turned around and left. He disappeared into the thick fog on the mountain ridge. Mo Tianyu watched the Overlord disappearing back and solemnly put away one copper treasure after another. He it was time for him to show his true skills. The overlord did not return to the Wolong Ridge. He walked along the official road and came to a small city not far away from the peak of the Pavilion of Heavenly Secrets. He stepped into the small city. This small city was really very small. It was located in the middle of a mountain nest. When the overlord appeared, the aristocratic families in the city immediately received the news. All of them packed their bags and left in fear. After all, the overlord Shang family army had massacred too many aristocratic families. They were afraid that the overlord would come and cause trouble for their aristocratic families. However, they were destined to think too much. The overlord came to a simple blacksmith shop in the city. The blacksmith shop was very quiet. It was not an exaggeration to say that it was empty. There were only two people in the blacksmith shop. One of them was a shirtless and strong youth. He was wielding a small hammer and continuously hammering the sword embryo. On the other side, a white-haired and short old man was melting a piece of fine iron, causing the fine iron to turn red. Gong Shu Yu quickly sensed the overlord aura. He put down his hands. The overlord came in from outside. Gong Shu Yu naturally recognized the overlord. His expression was neither warm nor cold. Overlord of Western Liang, what are you doing in my blacksmith shop? After Gongshu Yu had melted the refined iron, he immediately changed the venue and swung a big hammer. Blue veins were twining on his arm, which was shocking. The overlord took a deep breath and cupped his hands toward Gongshu Yu. The refining pavilion is the place where the spirit tool is forged, which is recognized by young master Lu. This king is here to ask for a suitable weapon. The overlord said. Gongshu Yu stopped what he was doing. The shirtless young man in the distance also stopped in shock. However, he was glared at by Gong Shu Yu. Stop for what? Continue. Gong Shu Yu's tone was very irritable. The youth's heart was shocked, and he hurriedly continued to hit the hot iron. Gong Shu Yu caught the iron and put it into the cold water. The sizzling sound caused the cold water to boil. A suitable weapon isn't easy to get, Gong Shu Yu said indifferently. Moreover, Overlord, the weapon you want isn't an ordinary weapon. If this old man's guess isn't wrong, Overlord wants a weapon in order to fight against the genius's elder that you killed, the Blue Sword Sect's nascent soul realm, right? Gong Shu Yu poured himself a cup of tea and suddenly drank a mouthful as he said. Although he was calm and focused on refining weapons, he wasn't some scholar who didn't pay attention to the outside world. The Blue Sword Sect's cornerstone treasure is the sword in the hand of the genius that you killed. Although this old man hasn't studied it, this old man's vision can judge that the sword should be a black-grade spirit tool. Gong Shu Yu said. So, overlord, the weapon you want should be at least a black-grade. Hearing this, 
The overlord gaze slightly focused and he abruptly nodded. In this world, the only one who can refine a black grade spirit tool is the young master. But the young master took the white jade capital to retire, so no one can forge a black grade spirit tool. Even this old man has never forged one. Gong Shu Yu shook his head and said. The overlord brows could not help but furrow. There is an iron mother in the backyard. I once placed it in the origin lake outside the white jade capital and soaked it for three days and three nights. If you can split it open, this old man will try to forge a black grade spirit tool. Gong Shu Yu held the teacup, looked at the overlord and said. The overlord gaze suddenly focused, incomparably resplendent. Good. The overlord didn't hesitate, he was going all out anyway. Ah Lu, stop. Hearing the overlord agree. Gong Shu Yu stopped the shirtless youth who was still forging. Yes, master. The youth stopped the hammering in his hand, his sore arm slightly trembling. The three left the blacksmith shop and entered the backyard. In the backyard, the overlord saw many pieces of iron. Young master once told me that refining materials are very important, and the power of a spirit tool refined from good materials is also different. In the current five phoenix continent, the materials needed to refine weapons still need to be excavated, but now, only these are able to forge weapons. This old man has soaked these materials in the lake of origin before, and compared to ordinary iron, they are even more magical. Finally, they arrived at the center of the backyard. The overlord looked at the two-meter-tall piece of iron in front of him. There were four huge pieces of iron that he could not lift even if he hugged them together. He was slightly dazed as he looked at it. If you can split him open, this old man will help you refine weapons. Gong Shu Yu said. Behind him, Little Lu was extremely surprised. He had tried this piece of iron before, but he was unable to move it at all. He even used all his strength, but it still did not budge. The overlord took a deep breath, he took a step back. After slowly closing his eyes, the overlord took a step forward. Dong. The ground trembled. With a punch, the air was blasted with a loud sound. P.A. The overlord punch landed on the Iron Mother, causing it to shake slightly. But the overlord flesh and blood also spurted out blood. So hard. The overlord opened his eyes, his heart was shocked. This is the Iron Mother stone that has been soaked in the Origin Lake for three days and three nights. How can it not be strong? Gong Shu Yu smiled faintly. The overlord also smiled. It was an excited smile. A low roar. Around the overlord body pitch black demonic chi was suddenly released. It continuously wrapped around his body, as if it was rising into the sky. The chi and blood in his body were churning. His spine seemed to appear, and there was a faint dragon roar that exploded in the sky. The overlord fist turned into a palm, and it seemed to carry a terrifying force that could pull a mountain out. It ruthlessly struck the iron mother stone. However, the iron mother stone remained unmoved. The overlord blood exploded. The overlord gaze focused, and he did not retreat. He raised his hand again and ruthlessly struck down. Poo poo poo. That was the sound of flesh and blood colliding with a huge rock. Time and time again, the overlord hand was injured by the rock so much that even the ghastly white bones could be seen with the naked eye. Finally, on the twentieth time, the overlord let out a low growl. A strange feeling rose in his heart, as if it had blessed his soul. Bang. The damage dealt by the rock after being struck 20 times all converged onto that palm at this moment. Third tier sequence Dao intent. Unyielding. Chop. The overlord seemed to be roaring in his heart. The palm that was covered in blood seemed to contain an aura that could split open the sky. Kacha. The iron mother stone cracked. The overlord palm struck deep into it. Then, the overlord bloody hands grabbed the two ends of the iron mother stone and suddenly exerted force. A roar exploded. Kacha. The Iron Mother Stone was completely split into two halves. And the Overlord arms also fell down powerlessly, fresh blood continuously dripping from them. In the distance, Gong Shu Yu was shocked, and his new disciple, Little Lu, was so shocked that he couldn't close his mouth. Was this person a monster? Gong Shu Pavilion Master, how about this? The Overlord laughed. Gong Shu Yu didn't refuse. He raised his foot and stomped down fiercely, dong. The center of the courtyard actually cracked open. 
A huge iron furnace rose from the ground and supported the Iron Mother Stone. There was actually a casting platform under the Iron Mother Stone. Flames rose, bringing with them specks of white flames. They shot out from the tool forging table and enveloped the entire Iron Mother Stone. The high temperature caused the Iron Mother Stone to begin to melt. The Overlord and Little Lu retreated. Gong Shu Yu tore apart his clothes, revealing his valiant body. He swung the hammer with one arm. His eyes were filled with excitement and determination. Ha! Gong Shu Yu shouted. He had spent his entire life refining artifacts, and at this moment, he planned to refine a mystic grade spiritual artifact. Dang! Dang dang dang! Gong Shu Yu swung the giant hammer, and his body spun. The giant hammer flew, and every time it flew, the hammer would hit the Iron Mother Stone. Again and again. Even the Overlord felt tired just by looking at it. He realized that Gong Shu Yu's palms were already bleeding from the friction with the handle of the hammer. It's already the 2000th hammer. On the side, Little Lu spoke fervently. 2000 hammers. The Overlord was shocked. However, Gong Shu Yu did not stop, hammering again and again. Time passed little by little. In the small city, it was as if one could hear the continuous sounds of hammering. Dang. Finally, Gong Shu Yu's hammer landed, and the bright red iron mother stone began to sink like a soft candy. Gong Shu Yu's eyes suddenly lit up. Overlord, what weapon do you want? Gong Shu Yu's vigorous body was covered in beads of sweat as he shouted. The Overlord eyes were bright as he clenched his fists. One axe and one shield. Hearing this, Gong Shu Yu once again laughed out loud. Following that, he actually held two hammers and took turns to hammer down. Each hammer was like a meteor that smashed down. Sparks flew everywhere. Heat waves surged. 300 li away from the border of West County. In the sky, an old man dressed in a black tight suit was floating cross-legged. A shiny sword was wiped clean and placed between his legs. He floated all the way from the east, on the official road. Many mortals who were carrying heavy loads saw the figure floating in the sky and were terrified. Some thought they had met an immortal and knelt on the ground. Some chased after him fervently. Some fled in fear. Of course, some cultivators understood what had happened and followed the old man in the black suit from a distance. The news soon spread. The news that the sect master of the Kang Sword sect, Zhou Heisheng, had entered the inner land of the Five Phoenixes from Dongyang County spread very quickly. A nascent Soul Realm expert could fly in the air. Zhou Heisheng walked westward from Dongyang County and passed through the southern county without stopping. On the way, many small sects of the Five Phoenixes cultivation world met Zhou Heisheng and hurriedly hid in fear. Cultivators who could fly in the air were not people they could afford to provoke. Because of the transformation of the world in the Five Phoenix continent, Zhou Heisheng flew from Dongyang County to West County, spending several days. However, he was not in a hurry, he just walked slowly like this. The faster he flew, the more sorrowful he felt. He even had a faint feeling of being abandoned. His heart was cold, and all his hopes were dashed. Blue Sword Sect's hope, Zhou Lu, his own grandson, had died just like that. With Zhou Lu dead, Zhou Heisheng wanted to find another genius who could replace Zhou Lu, but he simply could not find one. Zhou Heisheng, on the other hand, was severely injured in the world-ending battle in the Tian Yuan continent. He did not have many years left to live. Many Blue Sword Sect disciples began to retreat, leaving the sect. Zhou Heisheng thought that the Four Forces would seek justice for him since he had risked everything in the world-ending battle and was able to obtain the protection of the Four Forces. However, he did not expect that the Martial Emperor City, the Qian, Er Palace, and even the Absolute Blade Sect would ignore him. Zhou Heisheng's heart was cold. Zhou Heisheng was not stupid. How could an expert who could cultivate to the nascent soul realm be a fool? He knew that the four great forces just didn't want to take the lead. They didn't dare to test whether White Jade Capital was really hidden, and didn't dare to try to touch White Jade Capital's bottom line. Thus, they pushed Zhou Heisheng out. They let Zhou Heisheng kill the Overlord to test White Jade Capital's bottom line. Zhou Heisheng was only a chess piece. But, this chess piece, Zhou Heisheng didn't have a choice. He would first kill the Overlord, then destroy the Black Dragon sect. The Overlord was the murderer, but the instigator, Liu Yuanhao, was also to blame. 
In the distance, at the end of the official road. In the mountain pass. The fiery red dawn slowly rose. The light scattered down from the back of the mountain, illuminating the entire land. Zhou Heishang slowly landed on the ground and did not float anymore. He held his sword and looked into the distance with his old eyes. Numerous figures appeared under the illumination of the sunlight, densely packed together to almost block out the sunlight. They were soldiers who wore armor and had an imposing bearing. They also had a wild and domineering aura. This was the Shang family army of Xiliang, the strongest cultivation army under the overlord. Zhou Heisheng was very calm as he looked at this powerful army indifferently. He did not walk, but sat on the ground. He rubbed the sword in his hand. This sword was the cornerstone treasure of the Kang Sword Sect, a first-grade magic artifact, the Kang Life Sword. When he gave it to his grandson, Zhou Lu, he had placed high hopes on it. But now, it had become a relic. He placed the sword on his legs and closed his eyes slightly. Zhou Heisheng opened his mouth and breathed slightly, actually breathing in and out air currents. Xu Chu and the other great generals of Xiliang were sitting on their BMW as they stared vigilantly at the old man who was sitting cross-legged on the official road. One suddenly, the old man opened his eyes, where is Shang Xiaoyun? There is a reason for the injustice, and there is a reason for the debt. This old man will not implicate others and kill innocents indiscriminately. Therefore, I will give three days. If Shang Xiaoyun does not appear three days later, this old man will destroy all the cities in Xiliang. Chapter 317, Overlord vs. Yuanying Origin Lake, Island in the Middle of the Lake. Green grass rippled in the wind. Ni Yu held the sky-reaching mirror in her hands. She looked at Ning Zhao, who was sitting cross-legged in the distance. She had completed her daily training mission and couldn't wait to look at the sky-reaching mirror. After all, the overlord was going to be attacked by that Yuanying realm expert. Ni Yu was eager to know the final result. Sister Ning, why isn't it over yet? Ni Yu was as anxious as an ant on a hot pot. However, she didn't have spiritual sense and was unable to activate the contents of the heavenly mirror. Little Ying Long flapped his fleshy wings and appeared. He landed on Ni Yu's shoulder and puffed out his mouth, intending to take a sip of water. However, when he saw Ni Yu's anxious appearance, the little Ying Long could not help but express that he also possessed spiritual awareness. Ni Yu was startled, but then she was overjoyed. She wanted to let the little Ying Long activate the heavenly mirror. However, the little Yinglong began to become arrogant. He indicated that he had spiritual awareness, but, he just did not activate it. He even took a sip of water at Ni Yu. After giggling for a while, he planned to flap his wings and fly away. Ni Yu was furious. This stinky dragon was beginning to act rashly again. It was simply seizing every opportunity to act rashly. Ni Yu looked in the direction of Lu Fan's seclusion, and her eyes rolled. Then, she took out an energy gathering pill wrapped in sugar, licked it, and stuffed it into her mouth, making a clicking sound. The little Yinglong was stunned. He saw Ni Yu holding an energy gathering pill and shaking it at him. The little Yinglong flicked his tongue and saliva flew everywhere. He flapped his wings and flew down at high speed. Ni Yu pointed at the heavenly mirror. The little Yinglong should have rather died than submit, but in front of delicious food, he still chose to submit. His spiritual sense surged, and the scene in the heavenly mirror began to change. The solemn scene outside of Xiliang appeared. Ni Yu directly threw the qi gathering pill to the little Yinglong. The little Yinglong swallowed it in one gulp, it happily smacked the side. However, after smacking the side, it found that the taste seemed to be somewhat different. Not long after, the little Yinglong found that his lips were swollen. They were like two thick sausages. Ni Yu, who was leisurely eating the qi gathering pill wrapped in sugar while looking at the scene in the heavenly mirror, turned her head and saw the miserable state of the little Yinglong. She could not help but burst into laughter. In the distance, after Ning Zhao finished her cultivation, her white dress fluttered as she slowly walked over. When she saw the little Yinglong covering his lips and looking aggrieved, she couldn't help but smile. When Ni Yu saw Ning Zhao, she hurriedly called her over to watch the battle scene in the heavenly mirror. In the scene, a somber atmosphere filled the air. It was as if they were in the scene themselves, and the battle was about to erupt at any moment. Little Yinglong, with his sausage mouth, was also curiously lying on Ni Yu's head, 
looking at the scene in the heavenly mirror. Lu Fan was still studying the heaven overturning formation. The heaven overturning formation was one of the heaven destroying four formations, and it was at the earth rank. As for the rank of the earth rank, it would depend on the quality of the formation I. The formation arrangement of the heaven overturning formation was not too difficult for Lu Fan. He even included the formation runes in the chess pieces. The black and white chess pieces each contained formation runes. If Lu Fan wanted to set up the formation, he only needed to throw out the black and white chess pieces. However, what really made Lu Fan feel troublesome and difficult was the formation core. He needed an earth grade spiritual tool to be the formation core. It was not easy for Lu Fan. After all, although Lu Fan could create a Zon grade spiritual tool, he had never tried an earth grade spiritual tool. The main reason was that it was very difficult. Lu Fan thought for a while. He decided to try again. With a thought, everything changed in the platform. It turned into a huge oven. Lu Fan waved his hand, and precious minerals floated out of the origin lake. There was a meteorite that Lu Fan had specially collected. It was an ore that had been soaked in the origin lake for a long time. It looked like a sword embryo. Of course, it was similar in general, and it still needed to be carefully polished. Lu Fan put the sword embryo into the oven. The white bone ghostly fire rose and covered the sword embryo. Lu Fan sat cross-legged in the air in his white robe. His refining method was different from Gong Shu Yu's. Gong Shu Yu chose to transfer spiritual energy into the hammer and continuously beat it. Lu Fan's training method was called, chess pieces falling from the sky, pieces fell from the sky and hit the sword embryo. Every time they hit the sword embryo, it would shake and impact the internal structure. Lu Fan placed the pieces again and again. The pieces were like meteors falling from the sky. They were bright and eye-catching, emitting extreme brilliance. When they landed on the sword embryo, countless sparks burst out. The dense white flames swept over, bringing with it a cold color. Lu Fan hammered again and again. However, very soon, he frowned. Even though the quality of the sword embryo was very good and it had been soaked in the origin lake for a long time, it was still too difficult to become an earth-grade spirit tool. This difficulty was not something that Lu Fan could cross just by wanting to. Earth-grade. It was equivalent to the Trial Tower, Dao Tablet, or the Eight Phoenix Plume Swords. It was extremely difficult to artificially create a spirit tool at this level. Although Lu Fan's level of artifact refinement was quite high with the help of the artifact refining manual, it was impossible to create an earth grade spirit tool. After hammering repeatedly, Lu Fan still felt that he was a little lacking. He wanted to push the sword embryo into the earth grade level, but there was just a slight difference. And the gap between the two was like a natural moat. Looking at the sword embryo under the chess star that was constantly emitting bright light. The sword embryo still lost its embryonic appearance and turned into a strange long sword. This sword, which Lu Fan named the Heaven Overturning Sword, was the core of the Heaven Overturning Formation. With this level of the Heaven Overturning Sword as the core of the formation, the Heaven Overturning Formation might be able to succeed, but it could only be considered as the lowest level of the Heaven Overturning Formation. It was at the beginning of the Earth level. Lu Fan was not satisfied with this. How do I improve the quality of the sword embryo and let the heaven overturning sword enter the earth level? Lu Fan frowned. There was no problem with his forging method. The problem was with the materials, mainly the materials for the sword embryo. It was still a little lacking. Just the infiltration of the origin water was far from enough. Suddenly, Lu Fan's expression froze. Was there a problem with the materials? His eyes fluctuated, and a bold idea emerged in his mind. He raised his hand, and the chaos power the size of a fingernail floated in Lu Fan's palm. If this chaos power was poured into the sword embryo to be forged together, would the earth grade heaven overturning sword be able to succeed? Once this idea appeared, it could not be stopped from growing crazily. In the end, Lu Fan did not hesitate, he flicked his finger. A wave of power of chaos floated out like a dandelion, landing on the red hot embryo of the sword. The sect master of the Kang Sword Sect, Zhou Heisheng, personally appeared in the Western County. He also said that within three days, if the Overlord did not appear, he would destroy the twelve cities of the Western County. Once this news was released, it immediately swept across the entire world. 
the expressions of all the factions changed slightly. Some aristocratic family heads were furious and slammed the table and roared. This was bullying the five phoenixes and no one else. They actually dared to be so impudent. They completely looked down on the cultivators of the five phoenixes. However, everyone felt helpless. After all, the sect master of the Kang Jian sect, Zhou Heisheng, was a nascent soul realm expert. Nascent soul was a realm above the Skylock realm. Who knew how powerful it was? If the White Jade capital was still around, with that ill-tempered young master Lu holding down the fort, Zhou Heisheng would not dare to be so impudent. However, now that the White Jade capital had retired and disappeared into the boundless sea, the five phoenixes no longer had any existence that could contend against Zhou Heisheng. The Yuanying stage actually had a feeling of being unstoppable. The sound of the air being torn apart resounded unceasingly. One figure after another flew rapidly on the official road. They rushed to Xiliang, wanting to watch this battle. On the main road, Feng Yilu wore a purple robe and carried a folding spear on his back. With each step he took, the ground seemed to shrink continuously. After hearing the news of Zhou Heisheng's appearance, the cultivators in the secret realm of Wolong Ridge couldn't sit still anymore. Zhang Nan carried a large saber on his back and ran through the night towards Xiliang. He knew very well what Zhou Heisheng's appearance meant. Zhou Heisheng's purpose in appearing was to probe. It was the four great holy grounds that had been pushed out to probe the existence of the White Jade capital. They did not want to miss this battle. As the sun set and the sun rose. On the official road outside the western county, one figure after another appeared. On a vigorous tree, Xiao Yuer landed on it. There were also many geniuses on the man roll who had gathered. Feng Yilu sat cross-legged on a green rock and looked into the distance. There were also experts from the five phoenix continent. Ni Chongqing, Kong Nanfei, Sima Qingshan, and the others also stood there and gazed into the distance. The wind was blowing. Zhou Heisheng sat cross-legged on the ground, as if he was an old monk in meditation. He restrained all of his aura, as if he was an old man who was half a foot into the yellow earth. He's gathering momentum, Zhang Nan said, his eyes flickered. Did a nascent soul stage cultivator need to gather power to fight against a golden core stage cultivator? This didn't just mean gathering power, it also represented Zhou Heisheng's determination. This battle would definitely kill the overlord. He didn't care whether this battle was to test White Jade Capital's attitude or not. To Zhou Heisheng, who was completely disheartened and had lost the hope of the Kang Sword Sect, this battle was just for revenge. Three days had finally arrived, when the rays of the morning sun slowly shone down from the mountain pass. The golden sunlight scattered all over the ground like crushed gold. Zhou Heisheng, who had his eyes tightly shut, opened his eyes. The old him seemed to have recovered the moment he opened his eyes, in an instant, he was dozens of years younger. He slowly floated up cross-legged. The Kang Sheng sword on his leg started to dangle above his head. Boom! The terrifying aura of a nascent soul stage cultivator suddenly erupted, and the brilliant sunlight seemed to have lost its luster. The three-day deadline has arrived. Zhou Heisheng's hoarse voice resounded. Since Shang Xiaoyun still wants to appear, then this old man shall destroy all the cities in Xiliang. Pay tribute to my grandson. Wang. Zhou Heisheng raised his hand and lightly pinched with his sword fingers. Instantly, the Kang Shang sword emitted a resplendent brilliance, splitting into two, and then splitting into four. It actually transformed into a row of long swords that hung above his head. At the pass, the cultivators of the Shang family army in Xiliang felt the light of a needle on their backs, and the oppressive aura made it difficult for them to even breathe. Nascent Soul Stage The high-level oppression made the Shang family army in Xiliang, who were in the body constitution and Qi Dan stage, unable to even gather the strength to resist. Nascent Soul is the power that is born from the breaking of the golden core and the gathering of one's own essence. It is a personal good fortune that has an extremely strong suppression of the stage. Perhaps there are monstrous golden core stage cultivators who can resist it, but foundation establishment, qi condensation stage, no matter how many there are, it's useless. Facing a true high-level cultivator, quantity cannot produce a qualitative change. Zhang Nan held his pa dao, opened and closed his mouth, and said slowly. If Zhou Heisheng wanted to kill, 
foundation establishment, and qi condensation would be useless no matter how many there were. Perhaps, the only effect would be to hinder Zhou Heisheng's progress. Zhou Heisheng's expression was cold and solemn, without any pity. His grandson was dead. Who in the world had the right to make him feel pity? He sat cross-legged floating, with a shiny sword on his head. As he floated, the dust on the ground and the fallen leaves seemed to be blown away by an invisible wave of air. Suddenly, Zhou Heisheng's floating forward movement stopped. He looked into the distance. There, where the light from the mountain pass shot out, there was a tall and sturdy figure riding on a pitch black horse, galloping out. It was the overlord. Some people recognized that figure, and they were pleasantly surprised. The overlord had really come? Was the overlord really going to fight against a nascent soul stage cultivator? What was the possibility of winning? On the western Liang side. The Shang family army was extremely excited. They clenched their fists, waved the heavens, and let out furious roars. There were no cowards in western Liang. Their overlord was not a coward. On the third day of Zhou Heisheng's battle, the overlord arrived. He flipped over and jumped off the black horse. On the back of the overlord, there was a huge item wrapped in gray cloth. Looking at Zhou Heisheng, looking at Zhou Heisheng who was floating in the air, the overlord let out a breath. Nascent soul stage. The pressure was very strong. The overlord felt the blood in his body flowing slightly. Although he knew that this battle was very dangerous. If even Mo Tianyu had predicted the great fortune, it was likely that he would die. However, the overlord did not hide. It was impossible for him to hide. He was the king of Xiliang. He could not let Xiliang face this danger and let all the citizens of the twelve cities of Xiliang bear the wrath of Zhou Heisheng. The overlord could not do such a cowardly thing, Dong. The overlord took off the heavy item on his back. When it crashed onto the ground, it actually sent out a blast of air. His eyes flickered slightly. The overlord grabbed the gray cloth and suddenly pulled it out. The cloth fluttered in the air, revealing the item underneath. A huge square shield was inlaid with a huge axe in the middle of the square shield. The axe shield was greenish gray in color, with a little dark red flowing within. Rubbing the axe shield, the overlord eyes flickered. This axe shield was a spirit tool that Gong Shu Yu had created for him, a spirit tool that had entered the mystic rank. It was the fog that the overlord Yang had created by sprinkling his blood. In the small city, Gong Shu Yu had hammered the Iron Mother Stone nearly 10,000 times, and he had forcefully created the appearance of an axe shield. In the process of creating it, the overlord had sprinkled his blood, and the sprinkling of his blood made the axe shield smell even more bloody, and it also became more compatible with the overlord. When forging this axe shield, lightning punishment appeared in the sky. Lightning descended. Gong Shu Yu actually used this forging to step into the skylock. Furthermore, Gong Shu Yu used the skylock lightning punishment to enter the axe shield, causing this axe shield to become more and more spiritual, completely stepping into the mystic rank spiritual tool level. Just the axe and shield were both low-level mystic rank spiritual tools. If the axe and shield were combined, it would be a mid-level mystic rank spiritual tool. Gong Shu Yu had finished forging and was completely exhausted. His muscular body was covered in sweat. He leaned on the ground and was panting. However, when he looked at the axe and shield, he was beaming. He retracted his mind. The overlord raised his eyes and looked at Zhou Heisheng. A battle intent surged from the overlord body, nascent soul realm, right? Fight. The overlord growled. The axe and shield that was combined into one suddenly charged out. As he charged, the ground seemed to shake and collapse. Zhou Heisheng looked at the overlord coldly. Was this person the one who killed his grandson whom he had placed his hopes on? It had to be said that the overlord was indeed a genius. But. The more genius the overlord was, the more sorrowful Zhou Heisheng's heart became. He raised his hand and struck out fiercely. The sound of an explosion exploded. All the sharp flying swords above his head whistled out. Bang bang bang. The ground where the overlord was running continuously exploded. The sword rain that filled the sky instantly enveloped the surroundings of the overlord. Every sword contained an extremely terrifying offensive power. Clanging sounds. The overlord hid behind the axe and shield and actually knocked away all the sword attacks. He smashed apart many sword lights. Carrying an indomitable aura, 
he leapt in front of Zhou Heisheng. Zhou Heisheng's black suit floated in the air. Suddenly, his eyes widened in anger. The aura that had been gathered for three days suddenly erupted at this moment. He grabbed the Kang Shang sword and slashed down. The air seemed to be split apart from both sides. Under the square shield, the overlord eyes also carried a calm and surging battle intent. His chi and blood surged, and his spine was like a dragon. The initial stage of stepping into the unstable realm of the quadrupole heavenly lock was completely stabilized. At this moment, the overlord unleashed his strongest battle strength without holding back. Boom! The Kang Shang sword slashed at the square shield. Sparks flew in all directions, and powerful sword chi fluctuations spread in all directions. Under the gazes of the surrounding cultivators, he leapt forward and crashed into Zhou Heisheng's overlord. He groaned. He coughed up a mouthful of blood. He flew backward at an even faster speed and smashed into the ground that was filled with dust. Chapter 318 Don't believe in the heavens, don't believe in fate. The gap was too great. The gap between the nascent soul stage and the golden core stage was like a natural chasm. After all, the nascent soul stage was the stage where one broke through the core and formed the nascent soul. It was a completely new stage where one could find the true self. In terms of the control of power and the strength of spiritual sense, it completely crushed the golden core stage. The nascent soul stage was extremely rare in the Tian Yuan region. Those who could truly reach the nascent soul stage could become the sect leader of a sect. The golden core stage was only qualified to shatter the core and form the nascent soul after the fifth transition. However, even if it was a fifth transition nascent soul, it was still the nascent soul stage. After crossing a major realm, it would have the power to absolutely crush the golden core stage. Even top geniuses like Zhang Nan and Feng Yilu could only temporarily avoid the edge of the edge when they encountered a nascent soul expert. The possibility of killing a nascent soul was too small. Zhang Nan might be able to do it. Nine transformation of the golden core realm, there was a possibility of killing a nascent soul. However, he could only deal with an ordinary nascent soul. Zhou Heisheng was not an ordinary nascent soul. He was the sect master of the Blue Sword sect. When he was young, he was also a genius on the man roll. With the seventh transformation of the Golden Core realm, he broke his core and formed a nascent soul. His strength could not be underestimated. To be able to survive the world-ending battle, it was enough to show Zhou Heisheng's strength. Thus, with a single move, the Overlord was defeated. Zhou Heisheng held the Universal Life Sword, his expression cold. To be able to kill the Overlord with a single move was not out of his expectations. The aura on Zhou Heisheng's body was changing. Waves of spiritual energy rose. His originally stooped body had actually become tall and slender. His black hair was disheveled, and his clothes fluttered in the wind. His old skin had actually become smooth, as if he had become several tens of years younger. However, even though he looked younger, his aura had become more and more terrifying, as if he had returned to his prime. His essence, chi, and spirit had reached their peak. His killing intent was boiling. Zhou Heisheng did not underestimate the overlord. He went all out against the enemy. Even though he was at the nascent soul realm and could crush the overlord, he still did not let his guard down. Amidst the dust, the overlord held the square shield and stood there. The square shield was undamaged. Under the dust, the ground was filled with ravines cut by the sword chi. The overlord raised his hand and wiped away the blood at the corner of his mouth. He was defeated in the first move. The power of the nascent soul realm was really terrifying. However, the overlord did not give up. His eyes were bright, and there was an unyielding fighting spirit surging in them. With an angry shout, his hair stood up. Come, the overlord growled, holding the shield, his legs bent and suddenly exploded. His body rose up from the ground and crashed into Zhou Heisheng. Zhou Heisheng's expression was cold. Like a young man, he swept the sword in his hand in an arc and once again slashed at the square shield. His sword did not hold back. Every sword was like a thousand tons of force. Terrifying spiritual chi fluctuations scattered in all directions. It was as if a huge stone had smashed into a pool of water, stirring up waves in all directions. The overlord body crashed onto the ground once again. And this time, Zhou Heisheng did not give the overlord any time to catch his breath. 
He held the universal sword and slashed out across space. Streams of sharp sword chi attacked like a forest of swords. The first move was a terrifying massacre. This power was probably able to move mountains and level mountains. The overlord landed on the ground, and the square shield was pressed against his back. In an instant, it was as if a huge beast had flipped over. The heaven locking chi and blood, along with the mystic grade spiritual artifact, seemed to have transformed into a huge prehistoric beast. It roared and blocked all the sword rays. When the sword chi cut the square shield, it actually let out a clanging sound. Good. Zhou Heisheng opened his mouth, and his voice was somewhat hoarse. It was actually a voice of praise. No wonder he could kill my grandson. The overlord stuck his head out from behind the square shield, panting. You flatter me. In the distance, the spectators all took in a deep breath. This battle was indeed very shocking. Zhou Heisheng didn't hold back, and the nascent soul realm attack that burst out didn't instantly kill the overlord even though it suppressed him. This surprised many people. The overlord weapon was forged by the Gongshu Pavilion master of the weapon refining pavilion? Yes. I saw thunder rumbling in the small city where the weapon refining pavilion is located yesterday. It seems like someone passed the heavenly lock tribulation. It should be the Gongshu Pavilion Master who forged this mystic rank spiritual artifact and used the heavenly lock in one move. The mystic rank spiritual artifact combined with a third grade Tao intent means that the Overlord still has a chance. The cultivators watching the battle muttered to themselves. There were quite a few cultivators gathered around. After all, how could they not pay attention to the battle between the Overlord and the nascent soul realm? Besides, this battle seemed to be a test by the heavenly Yuan foreign lands, testing the attitude of White Jade Capital. As long as anything was related to White Jade Capital, the world would pay close attention to it. Mo Tianyu also came and moved to Kong Nanfei's side. Kong Nanfei was dressed in a sloppy scholar's robe. Meng Horan's eyes were bright as he stared at the battle excitedly. When he saw Mo Tianyu, he quickly bowed and said, Marshal Uncle Mo. Mo Tianyu's expression was gentle as he patted Meng Horan's head and said, Horan has become stronger again. Do you want Marshal Uncle to read your fortune? Meng Horan shivered and hurriedly smiled and waved his hand. Mo Tianyu sighed and did not force him. He continued to watch the battle between the Overlord and Zhou Horan. The Overlord is indeed strong. Ever since he broke the knot in his heart in the secret realm of the Wolong Ridge, the former Overlord has returned. Mo Tianyu said, Kong Nanfei drank a mouthful of wine. His entire body emitted a strong smell of rancid wine, but he shook his head. He is strong, but he is only stronger in the Golden Core Heavenly Lock. The Overlord has no advantage over the Yuanying stage. Ni Chongqing also agreed with this view and nodded solemnly. Jing Yu, Sima Qingshan, and other top cultivators of the Five Phoenix Continent were also gathered here. If the Overlord is defeated, should we make a move? Jing Yu said with a frown. If the overlord was killed by Zhou Heisheng, the world would probably change greatly. The structure of the Five Phoenix Continent would be completely shaken. As soon as Jing Yu's words came out, the atmosphere immediately became gloomy. On the other side, Zhang Nan laughed. The gap is too big, there's no suspense. Zhang Nan concluded that Zhou Heisheng, who had gathered his essence, energy, and spirit to the extreme, could not be defeated by an overlord who was not even at the ninth transformation golden core stage. So what if he had a black grade spirit tool in his hand? It was not even just these people. In the darkness, there was still a faint and terrifying aura that pervaded the air. That was a nascent soul stage expert from the Tian Yuan sacred land. They were also secretly watching this battle. They did not stand up for Zhou Heisheng. Wasn't it just to witness this battle and test the attitude of White Jade Capital? Zhou Heisheng's skin was like jade, faintly glowing. This was his life force. He urged his life force to erupt with battle strength that was enough to crush the overlord. Boom. Zhou Heisheng took a step in the air, step by step. With each step, he ruthlessly stepped on the overlord's square shield. Dong. Dong dong. The overlord was repeatedly stepped back. A sharp sword light suddenly swept past, ruthlessly slashing onto the overlord's square shield. A huge power erupted, like a huge wave under a storm slamming onto the hull of the ship. The overlord entire body was sent flying, crashing onto the ground and rolling a few times. 
However, the overlord had just stood up. Behind the square shield, a bloody light suddenly shot out from his arm. The blood that flew out swept across several meters. Zhou Heisheng's sword attacked from a very tricky angle. The overlord roared angrily. Demonic qi started to surge and wrapped around his body like a mad demon. With a clang, the axe and shield separated. The overlord held the axe in one hand and waved it, slashing out beams of axe light. Bang! The overlord took a step forward. His body rose from the ground and countless axe lights gathered, turning into a shocking axe. It was as if the sky was about to be split open as he slashed at Zhou Heisheng. Zhou Heisheng was extremely cold. He pinched his fingers and the Kang Shang sword drew circles in the air. It actually turned into a dense rain of swords and struck out once again. Poochy Poochy. Fresh blood continuously splattered. The overlord entire body was covered in wounds. There was even a streak of sword chi that directly passed through the overlord chest and exploded into a thick blood mist. However, the overlord eyes locked onto Zhou Heisheng. He traded injuries for injuries and was fearless. He stacked the thickest armor and withstood the most vicious blows. The overlord's stance of trading injuries for lives was vividly displayed at this moment. Zhou Heisheng was also somewhat surprised. He was slightly shocked by the overlord's stance. However, under the surge of spiritual sense, the fear in his heart was swept away. Instead, it was once again filled with an indomitable killing intent. The Kangsheng sword blocked the overlord chop. The power of this chop was very strong, and it also made Zhou Heisheng feel the numbness in his palm. However, after all, it was only the power of the Jindan stage. The gap between the Jindan stage and the Yuanying stage was even greater than the gap between the Foundation Establishment stage and the Jindan stage. Zhou Heisheng blocked the overlord axe with one sword, and his other hand turned into a palm and fiercely struck out. The overlord raised his shield to block. Dong! The palm emitted ripples, and actually erupted with a shocking power. The hidden force surged into the overlord body, even if the overlord had to use his chi and blood to block this power. However, he was still smashed to the ground by the impact. The ground caved in and a deep pit was blasted open. Zhou Heisheng raised his sword, the Kang Shang sword transformed into 99. It slashed down densely. The overlord raised his shield to block. The 99 swords were all concentrated and stood on the square shield. Poochie. Poochie. The overlord coughed more and more blood. The blood flowing from the wounds on his body almost dyed the ground red. The surrounding people fell silent. In the distance, the originally excited Shang family army also fell into a deathly silence. In their hearts, the undefeated overlord was actually being suppressed and beaten. He didn't even have the strength to fight back. The cultivators of the Tian Yuan region who were watching the battle let out a sneer. Wanting to use the golden core to fight the nascent soul, he overestimated himself. Too tragic, the gap is too big. Overlord, he's going to be beaten into a bastard. The laughter rose and fell one after another but it made the faces of the cultivators of the five phoenix continent turn ashen. However, everyone was speechless, because that was the truth. Even if the overlord demonic chi was rampant, he was still being suppressed and beaten by Zhou Heisheng. The ninety-nine swords that fell from the sky, the overlord that was about to be killed, knelt on the ground. In the Shang family's army, Luo Mingsang covered her mouth and watched the battle between the overlord and Zhou Heisheng. Beside her, Luo Mingyue hugged the lute and patted Luo Mingsang's shoulder lightly. However, even she felt that this comfort was a little weak. She couldn't win. The difference was too great. The overlord seemed to have turned into a bloody person. However, his condition wasn't too bad. After all, the Dao intent he comprehended was a third-grade Dao intent. What was he going to be beaten up for? He was the best at it. Unyielding Dao intent was the overlord trump card. It was also his only trump card that could turn the tables on Zhou Heisheng. He glanced at the cold and emotionless Zhou Heisheng. The other party was high and mighty, and every strike made the overlord unable to block. However, the overlord did not give up, he combined his axe and shield. He glanced at Zhou Heisheng, who was covered in blood, and grinned. Come, kill this king, the overlord growled, as his words fell. His feet suddenly stepped on the ground. Dong. The ground caved in and exploded into a deep pit, 
emitting a rebounding force, causing the overlord body to bounce far away. A. Zhou Heisheng, who was floating in the air, was stunned. Escape. Zhou Heisheng laughed. The speed of a nascent soul stage cultivator was much faster than a golden core stage cultivator. Escape? That was the most unwise choice. It was not only Zhou Heisheng who was stunned. Everyone who was watching the battle was stunned. They had never thought that the overlord would actually choose to escape. Was this still the same overlord who did not look back, who pushed forward and fought to the end? Zhang Nan, Xiao Yuer, and the other experts of the Tian Yuan region laughed disdainfully. Fleeing under the eyes of a nascent soul stage cultivator. What a foolish act. A nascent soul stage cultivator who can fly is like a rabbit fleeing under the eyes of a goshawk. He can only become the most powerless prey. However, as the overlord and Zhou Heisheng left into the distance, the spectators also moved. They burst out with speed and rushed over, continuing to watch the battle. Die. Zhou Heisheng once again slashed out with his sword, and a huge amount of sword chi descended from the sky. The overlord turned his head and raised his shield to block. Dong. He spat out a mouthful of blood, and the overlord felt as if his internal organs were about to shift. His body crashed to the ground, and after being sent flying for several hundred meters, the overlord bounced up as if nothing had happened. He continued to run without turning his head back. He brought Zhou Heisheng deep into western Liang and took the desolate official road, all the way to the vast desert outside the Tiger Pass in Western County. The battle of life and death had turned into a pursuit. However, this was originally a life and death battle. It was not some arena battle. There was no fixed battlefield. Perhaps the overlord was choosing a battlefield that was advantageous to him. Everyone followed the footsteps of the two and shifted the battlefield. The overlord escape process was miserable. Zhou Haisheng did not hold back in every move. If not for the fang shield in the overlord hand being a black grade spirit tool, if not for the shield formed by the devil Qi in the past, the overlord would have been cut in half long ago. Coughing up blood again and again, the overlord fled westward, spilling a little blood along the way. He was brewing. Spirit stones were held in his hand one after another, and after absorbing the spirit Qi, he threw them away. The overlord, who had comprehended the unyielding Dao intent, had a recovery ability that far exceeded that of ordinary people. Zhou Haisheng's eyes flickered with a brilliant light. This person is planning something big. Is it his trump card, that magical third tier Dao intent? He wasn't stupid. After all, anyone who could cultivate to the nascent soul stage was an old and shrewd existence. He wasn't the only one. Zhang Nan, Feng Yilo, and the other geniuses on the man roll also had strange looks in their eyes. Ni Chongqing's eyes narrowed. He was thinking about how the overlord was planning to turn the tables. However, he couldn't figure it out. Kong Nanfei carried Meng Horan as they sped along. He turned his head to look at Mo Tianyu. Old Mo, have you read the overlord fortune? Mo Tianyu was barely able to keep up with Kong Nanfei's speed. He grinned, and a gust of wind entered his mouth, causing him to quickly shut his mouth. He raised his hand and gave a thumbs up. Kong Nanfei's face stiffened. This posture. Was the divination auspicious? Then it was over. Kong Nanfei was still very confident in Mo Tianyu's divination. In other words, if nothing unexpected happened, even if the overlord had a trump card, he would still be defeated. He sprinted all the way. He passed through the galloping Dongyan River. He rushed out of the forest-covered mountains. Finally, outside the border of Qixi Prefecture, a stretch of yellow sand rolled out of the desert. Along the way, the overlord had also endured countless battles and was in danger again and again. There was even a ray of sword light that cut off a large piece of flesh on the overlord back. In the desert, the overlord did not escape anymore. He stood in the yellow sand, his blood dripping, dyeing the yellow sand red. He suddenly smashed the axe and shield onto the ground. Zhou Heisheng, who was floating in the air, slowly raised his sword. Have you escaped enough? This place is empty, there's no way for you to escape. As Zhou Heisheng spoke, his hair fluttered in the wind. The universal life sword suddenly slashed out. The overlord escaped time and time again from his killing move, which was beyond his expectations. He was even a little anxious. He could feel the toughness of the overlord. 
Perhaps this was the legendary Dao intent a tribute that the latter overlord comprehended. However, Zhou Haisheng could feel that the overlord had also reached its limit. A Yuanying stage killing a Jindan stage didn't need to expend so much effort. To be able to hold on for so long, the overlord was already very monstrous and rarely seen in the world. The overlord smiled. His hair was disheveled and his appearance was extremely miserable. Ever since he debuted, this was the most miserable time for him. However, the overlord smiled very calmly. Zhou Heisheng's final move was exuding extreme magnificence, displaying a terrifying killing intent. Countless grains of yellow sand seemed to have been cut open. A huge sword streaked across the sky. The Kang Shang sword erupted with the terrifying power of a black grade spirit tool. The experts standing far away in the desert had deathly pale faces. The power of a nascent soul realm was too strong. How was this to fight? This was a sure kill attack. Zhang Nan and Feng Yilu's expressions were incomparably grim. Even if it was them, under this move, they might only be able to die. Zhou Heisheng wasn't an ordinary nascent soul realm after all. He's here. Zhang Nan's eyes flickered with a strange light as he said. The overlord death is the main event. If he dies, will white jade capital make a move? If the white jade capital doesn't make a move, then it means that they are truly hiding. The experts of the Tian Yuan region can also come out and be active. Zhang Nan's words were not wrong. Zhou Heisheng's killing move had decided what the world was most concerned about. Would the white jade capital interfere? Boom! The wind and sand were torn apart. The overlord stood where he was. He felt the sharpness of the sky covering sword as if it was going to tear his body apart. His chi and blood churned. His spine roared like a dragon. He growled and released his hands. The spirit stones that had been sucked dry of spiritual chi fell to the ground. Break for me. The overlord hair flew up. Rumble. The overlord, who had initially stepped into the four extreme heavenly lock, actually charged into the five extreme heavenly lock at this moment. Everyone thought that the overlord was going crazy. Zhou Heisheng also thought so. Courting death. Breaking through in battle. Once you fail, you will die without a doubt. Zhou Heisheng took a deep breath, but he was also surprised by the overlord boldness. However, breaking through was useless. In Zhou Heisheng's eyes, rank 4 and rank 5 golden cores were both golden cores. They were existences that could be hacked to death with a single sword. However, the overlord trump card was clearly not just that. Buzz. A strange fluctuation spread out, and the world seemed to become a little quieter. Zhou Heisheng's expression changed. Dao intent? This fluctuation. Was Dao intent? Rumble. At this moment, the overlord body gave rise to the fluctuation of Dao intent. The overlord hair fluttered in the wind, bringing with it a wild and unruly laughter that did not believe in heaven or fate. My intent is unyielding. The overlord roared angrily. In the next moment, his body actually erupted with an extremely terrifying energy. This was the energy that he had endured all the way from being beaten up. These were actually all the energy that Zhou Heisheng had erupted with. The unyielding Dao intense rebound against the injured power. This was the overlord only trump card, and also the only point that could turn the tables. A breakthrough at the last minute, coupled with the rebound of Dao intent against strength. At this moment, the overlord exploded with the ultimate strength that he could unleash. His body seemed to be bursting from this strength. His skin swelled and split open, and blood continued to spray out. At this moment, Zhou Heisheng focused his eyes. He actually felt a bit of pressure. He let out a sharp whistle. Above his head, a palm-sized small nascent soul appeared, shining with boundless light. At this moment, he also used his strongest strength. The boundless strength in his nascent soul was continuously drawn out, surging into the Kang Shang sword. The overlord abandoned the square shield, dragging the huge axe, and began to run continuously. Dong. With a step down, the yellow sand caved in. Monstrous black devil chi wrapped around the steaming blood mist. At this moment, the overlord charged forward like a real demon king. The axe was gathering demonic chi and power. The arms that had exploded out of the blood mist held the axe and sword into the sky. He hacked at Zhou Heisheng, who was in the nascent soul stage above his head. Chapter 319, 
breaking my skylock and defying your fate. Using the power of chaos to refine weapons was perhaps the boldest move Lu Fan had made. The power of chaos was very precious. Even Lu Fan had only obtained one tier power of chaos so far. It was not much, it could be said that it was very little. However, this power of chaos was very powerful. It was a power that was even more powerful than the origin power. Lu Fan actually used this power to refine weapons. It had to be said that it was very extravagant. However, this was perhaps one of the most effective ways for Lu Fan to turn the sword embryo into an earth grade spiritual artifact. Earth grade spiritual artifacts required precious materials. Lu Fan could not find these materials. A mystic grade spiritual artifact was already very precious in the Middle Martial world. According to Lu Fan's guess, the materials needed to create earth grade spirit tools could only be obtained in the High Martial world. Even in the Tian Yuan domain, one might not be able to find the materials needed to create earth-grade spirit tools. The power of chaos was a kind of power that transcended. It was something that Lu Fan had obtained by chance. It was precious and mysterious. Lu Fan chose to add this energy into the spirit tool to increase the level of the spirit tool. Without the power of chaos, the level of the array core, the heaven overturning sword, would most likely stop at the high level of the Zan level. It would be difficult to step into the earth level. After all, the quality of the raw materials of the heaven overturning sword was too low. If it had not been immersed in the origin lake for a long time, the level of the heaven overturning sword would have been difficult to increase. Chi Chi Chi. The power of chaos was like a dandelion falling on the burning red heaven overturning sword. In an instant, the milky white power of chaos spread out. In an instant, the surface of the heaven overturning sword seemed to be boiling and bubbling. The powerful power seeped into the heaven overturning sword. The heaven overturning sword seemed to be trembling under the heavy burden. Lu Fan's expression became serious. If he could not control it well, the heaven overturning sword might break. Thus, in the teaching platform, Lu Fan became very serious. He released all of his spiritual consciousness, wrapping around the sword embryo like a spider web. Chess stars fell one by one, beating the heaven overturning sword. The fusion of the power of chaos and the heaven overturning sword became more and more gentle, more and more perfect. Demon blood. Finally, just as the sword was about to form, Lu Fan's eyes focused. He raised his hand, and a drop of bright red blood circulated in his palm. When it dripped onto the heaven overturning sword, it actually emitted the sizzling sound of a burning board it was instantly vaporized and turned into black gas. The connection between Lu Fan and the heaven overturning sword also became clearer. Earth grade spiritual artifact. Formed. Lu Fan's eyes focused. Boom. The moment the heaven overturning sword was formed, the giant whale carrying the island in the middle of the lake suddenly let out a terrified roar. A pillar of water shot up and exploded in the sky, scattering everywhere. Gloomy clouds continued to envelop the sky, turning into a terrifying vortex. The vast sea set off huge waves, as if it was about to destroy the world. On the island in the middle of the lake, the hurricane blew over, causing the grass to bend. Ni Yu and Ning Zhao, who were focused on the heavenly mirror, suddenly felt their hearts tighten. They raised their heads and saw a terrifying wave sweeping across the sky. This is a lightning tribulation. Ning Zhao took a deep breath and said. What a terrifying lightning tribulation. It was as if it was going to destroy the world. The heavenly lock realm was extremely weak in front of this lightning tribulation. In the white jade capital's pavilion, Lu Fan, who was sitting on the thousand blades chair, slowly opened his eyes. His white robe fluttered in the wind as he looked at the black clouds in the sky. Countless bolts of lightning transformed into a dazzling light and fell down. Lu Fan raised his hand, and a small milky white sword immediately flew out. It rushed into the clouds and collided with the lightning. The heaven overturning sword transcended the lightning punishment. An earth grade spirit tool was born in the middle martial world. This almost broke the rules of heaven and earth and attracted the world destroying lightning penalty. A bolt of lightning struck down, and the space seemed to be blasted into pieces. The giant whale, which was as strong as an infant transformation realm expert, was trembling at this moment. It did not dare to move an inch. This kind of heavenly might suppress the spirit beasts too much. The little Yinglong was also lying on Ni Yu's head, 
and its body was trembling slightly. Dongyang County. Martial Emperor City's Branch City. Du Longyang was in a secret room in seclusion. He was meditating on Dao intent when he suddenly opened his eyes. In his spiritual sense, there was a terrifying and fearful aura pervading the air. What a terrifying aura! It's as if the might of the heavens is raging. Du Longyang took a deep breath and his entire body tensed up. It was not just him. The Empress of the Palace of Heavens will, Yi Shudao of the Absolute Blade Sect, Heavenly Oasis Young Master of the Heavenly Void Palace, and the others were all jolted awake from their seclusion. They looked in the direction of the boundless boundless sea. The sound of air being torn apart suddenly resounded. Du Longyang held a long black spear in his hand as he rushed out explosively. The Empress's red robe fluttered in the wind as she took lotus steps and walked through the void. Yi Shaodao and Heavenly Oasis Young Master also shot out explosively. They rushed out of Dongyang County and met up in the sky. They looked at each other without saying a word. They looked at the churning ocean and charged forward without saying a word. As infant transformation realm warriors, they had comprehended Dao intent and were even stronger. They broke through the huge waves and galloped at near the speed of sound. However, they could clearly feel the terrifying lightning penalty wave and heard the huge whale's roar. However, no matter how hard they searched and released their spiritual sense, they were unable to find White Jade Capital. Although we can sense it, we can't see it, nor can we find it. Is the White Jade Capital really hidden? Du Longyang took a deep breath. With their strength, they were actually unable to find the hidden White Jade Capital. This made them feel somewhat dejected. Perhaps our strength isn't enough. Once we completely grasp the Dao intent, we should be able to find traces of the White Jade Capital. The few of them thought to themselves. As soon as they finished speaking, they left explosively and returned to Dongyang County, continuing to pass the trial. They had already researched a bit of the sequence Dao intent, and they wanted to do it in one go. On the island in the center of the lake, the terrifying lightning punishment had ended. Lu Fan sat upright on the thousand blade chair, and the heaven overturning sword floated in his palm. The heaven overturning sword, which was as warm as a jade hairpin, felt scalding hot to the touch, and looked like a toy. Lu Fan's eyes flickered, and one by one, runes fell down. The sky covering formation rose. Above the vast sea, thick fog began to cover and roll. Lu Fan flicked his finger, and the sky covering sword instantly turned into a ray of white light, disappearing into the formation. The complete earth grade formation, the sky covering formation, was completely completed. Lu Fan's eyes flickered with a strange fluctuation. The sky covering formation was very strong. Because Lu Fan had used the power of chaos to create the sky covering sword, the grade of the sky covering sword had actually reached the high grade earth grade. This was something that Lu Fan had never expected. The high grade of the formation's eye made the grade of the formation rise along with it. Lu Fan could feel that once the heaven overturning formation was activated, its defensive power would be extremely powerful. If Lu Fan was outside, even if he attacked with all his strength, he would not be able to shake the defense at all. Moreover, the heaven overturning formation was not ordinary, it was not just a defensive formation. If Lu Fan wanted to, he could even transform it into a heaven shaking killing formation. Of course, the main defensive formation would be much weaker in terms of killing. However, at the very least, there was no problem for the existence of the three gods' realm, the second realm, and the Yang god realm to be trapped. The formation was not activated. Lu Fan raised his hand, and the milky white light returned. Lu Fan held the heaven overturning sword and inserted it into the jade crown. On the island in the center of the lake, Ni Yu and Ning Zhao were still in shock. They heaved a sigh of relief when they felt the lightning disappear. Only then did their gazes fall on the heaven-reaching mirror. Overlord has been scheming for so long. He's been waiting for this killing move. Can he win with his third-grade Dao intent? Ni Yu clenched her hands and asked nervously, although she didn't like Overlord very much, because he was confident and conceited. However, Overlord was more like a person of the five phoenixes. In Ni Yu's opinion, the Tian Yuan foreign land and the five phoenixes belonged to two different camps. Perhaps, in Lu Fan's eyes, the Tian Yuan and the five phoenixes were the same. However, there was still a difference. The wheelchair turned slightly, and the sound of rolling grass could be heard. 
Ni Yu and Ning Zhao stood up and looked at Lu Fan respectfully. Young master. In the heavenly mirror, the scene continued. Lu Fan leaned against the Thousand Blades chair and smiled. Young master, do you think Overlord can win? Ni Yu asked curiously. Ning Zhao also listened with some anticipation. Lu Fan was stunned when he heard that. He glanced at the battle in the heavenly mirror and knew what Ni Yu was asking. He smiled, placed his palm on the arm guard, and lightly tapped it. Win? It's not that easy. The nascent soul realm is a process of transcendence. The gap between the skylock and the nascent soul realm is too big, so it's not that easy to win. Zhou Heisheng isn't a weak nascent soul either. Perhaps the overlord has reached the level of the eight extreme skylock, and combined with the unyielding Tao intent of a third grade sequence, he has a chance to win. Otherwise, the overlord won't have a chance. Lu Fan said, nascent soul cultivators weren't trash. Even in the Tianyuan region, nascent soul cultivators were extremely rare. When Ni Yu and Ning Zhao heard Lu Fan's analysis, their expressions couldn't help but change. Young master. If the overlord is really defeated and is about to be killed, will you make a move? Ning Zhao suddenly asked. The moment she spoke, the atmosphere became somewhat serious. Lu Fan shook his head. They won't attack. What's the purpose of White Jade Capital hiding? To make them stronger. Do you think that the nascent soul stage cultivators in Tian Yuan are the real enemies they are facing? Lu Fan tapped his finger lightly and looked up at the sky with narrowed eyes. They're real enemies. Haven't appeared yet. If they can't even withstand the pressure of a nascent soul stage cultivator, what will they do then? They should learn to become stronger on their own. They can't stay under the protection of master for their entire lives. This world needs strong people, and strong people need to be born in blood and tears. Lu Fan's words made Ning Zhao's body tremble. There was something hidden in master's words, but her heart was extremely heavy when she heard it because she felt the pressure. A real enemy? Ning Zhao followed Lu Fan's gaze and looked up into the sky. A serious expression flashed across her pretty face. The enemy came from beyond the heavens? Boom! A terrifying explosion suddenly occurred. Every grain of sand in the desert shook and was blasted away. The sand and dust rolled away one after another, forming a huge pit. Everyone was paying attention to the center of the collision. The overlord had broken through the five extreme heavenly lock during the battle, and he had erupted with an unyielding Tao intense rebounding force, wanting to rebound the attack of a nascent soul stage cultivator. It could be said that no one in the world had expected the overlord boldness and determination. The overlord move had indeed shocked many people, including Zhou Heisheng. The nascent soul stage cultivators who were secretly observing also took in a breath. No wonder the overlord was able to defeat the strong with a weak punch and kill Zhou Lu. This kid indeed had the appearance of being ranked first on the man roll. Unfortunately, Zhou Heisheng wasn't a weak nascent soul stage cultivator. The nascent soul stage was divided into four levels. Initial stage, initial stage, advanced stage, and perfect stage. As for Zhou Heisheng, he was at the initial stage of the nascent soul stage. Although he was only at the bottom of the nascent soul earth roll, being able to enter the nascent soul earth roll could already be said to be extremely strong. Bang! Zhou Heisheng didn't underestimate the overlord desperate strike, he had long known of the overlord third tier Dao intent, and he also knew that Zhou Lu had died under this move. Therefore, how could he not be on guard? He gave it his all, and his Yuanying floated above his head, completely releasing all of his strength. Time seemed to have come to a standstill at this moment. The overlord axe was blocked by an invisible barrier. The axe blade cut through the barrier a few times, but it was unable to penetrate deeper. Zhou Heisheng's face had returned to its youthful state at this moment. His skin was exuding a jade color. The Kang Shang sword, which had gathered all of Zhou Heisheng's nascent soul's power, slowly slashed out. Its speed was not fast, but the overlord felt that it was impossible for it to dodge. The overlord eyes widened as he stared fixedly at the Kang Shang sword. On the blade of the sword, there was a flowing light that was flashing and moving rapidly, faintly erupting with a terrifying sharpness that caused one's scalp to go numb. A feeling that caused one's pores to turn cold covered the entire body of the overlord. Kacha. The axe slashed down. The barrier began to shatter. 
and the Kang Shang sword was neither too fast nor too slow as it sliced through the neck of the overlord. Puchi. All of Zhou Heisheng's strength was gathered in the Kang Shang sword. The barrier did not have enough strength, so it shattered. The overlord axe ruthlessly slashed at Zhou Heisheng's body. Boom. The strength that he had been chasing after the overlord for so long exploded on the axe at this moment due to his unyielding Dao intent. One of Zhou Heisheng's arms was cut off, and blood splattered everywhere. Skylock fighting a Yuanying, cutting off an arm of a Yuanying. Zhou Heisheng was unable to maintain his suspended state and fell to the ground. His body flew far away, piling up a thick pile of sand. However, this was not what shocked and rendered the world speechless. The overlord landed on the ground, but did not fall down, he stood upright. And the Kangsheng sword fell to the ground, its blood staining the hot gravel red. Everyone held their breaths. Looking at the tall and sturdy overlord standing in the desert, they did not even dare to breathe loudly. Zhang Nan, Xiao Yu'er, and the other geniuses were also silent. The battle of the overlord had indeed shocked them. Using the Skylock to fight against a Yuanying, he had actually cut off one arm of a Yuanying. What kind of battle record was this? Even if it was a ninth transformation golden core, it was already worthy of bragging that Zhou Heisheng could remain alive. However, the overlord had cut off one arm of Zhou Heisheng. Of course. The price was also huge. A bloody scar appeared on the overlord neck. Then, uncontrollable blood sprayed out from the overlord neck. The long axe fell to the ground with a heavy roar. The overlord raised his hand and covered his neck. The blood sprayed out like a spurting blood arrow. There was a bit of disappointment between the overlord brows. He had still failed. The overlord hand covered his neck, but dark red blood continued to flow through the gaps between his fingers. He felt that his life force was also rapidly draining away. However, he started to laugh. His laughter echoed through the desert. With the five extreme heavenly chains, he had cut off an arm of a nascent soul stage cultivator. His overlord was not weak. He would die with a domineering air, in the distance. Zhou Heisheng clutched his broken arm and stood up. He looked at the overlord who was clutching his bleeding neck and laughing towards the sky with a complicated expression. Monster. He was truly a peerless monster. Zhou Lu's defeat wasn't unjustified. In Zhou Heisheng's eyes, even geniuses like Zhang Nan and Feng Yilu couldn't compare to the overlord. He was a nascent soul stage cultivator at the initial stage, but he was almost killed by the overlord in exchange for his life. It's over. Zhou Heisheng's expression was like jade as he looked at the overlord with a complicated expression. The Kang Shang sword slashed across the overlord neck. Even though he was unyielding after comprehending the Tao intent of a third grade sequence, the overlord wasn't immortal after all. If he wasn't at the nascent soul realm, beheading him meant certain death. If he was beheaded, his physical body wouldn't be able to lock on to his soul. Once his soul dissipated, it meant certain death. Zhou Heisheng coughed. He could not help but laugh softly. There was a hint of sadness in his laughter. Zhou Heisheng had avenged Zhou Lu, but for some reason, Zhou Heisheng could not feel the slightest bit of joy in his heart. Puchi. Blood spurted out under the gazes of many pairs of eyes. The overlord body was still standing, but the overlord head, which had the eyebrows that shot up to the sky, smashed onto the ground. Thump. A muffled sound seemed to hit everyone's heart. Ni Chongqing clenched his fists tightly. Jing Yu clenched the Jingtian sword tightly. The faces of many aristocratic families and the cultivation practitioners of the five phoenixes were as pale as paper. Many people of the Western Liang Iron Cavalry felt their bodies and minds turn cold. Luo Mingsang, who was beside Luo Mingyue, felt as if her strength had been sucked out of her body in an instant, and she collapsed to the ground. The cultivators and experts of the Tian Yuan region also had complicated emotions. They looked at the overlord, whose head had been beheaded, with a hint of admiration. The spiritual senses of the nascent soul realm cultivators hidden in the darkness collided. The overlord was dead, and Bai Yu Jing hadn't made a move. They had gotten the information they wanted on the island in the center of the lake. Ni Yu and Ning Zhao, who saw this scene through the heavenly mirror, were also stunned. They had really been predicted by the young master. Lu Fan leaned against the thousand blade chair and frowned as he looked at the scene in the heavenly mirror. 
The wind was chilly and the water was cold. The chilly wind blew on the rolling sand. His fingers gently tapped on the arm guard of the wheelchair. Lu Fan narrowed his eyes. Was it over? No, it was not. Kong Nanfei was dressed in a scholarly robe and he was a little sad. The overlord was very strong. In the era of the hundred schools of thought, he was the symbol of invincibility. But now, he was beheaded by a cultivator from the Tian Yuan foreign land. How could his heart not feel uncomfortable? He glanced at Mo Tianyu. Mo Tianyu's divination. How could it be so accurate? Why? Kong Nanfei felt very uncomfortable. Mo Tianyu stared at the overlord headless body. The next moment, Mo Tianyu suddenly laughed out loud. The laughter shook. It made Kong Nanfei dumbfounded. This guy was still laughing. Mo Tianyu's chest was exposed, but his eyes were filled with a trace of madness and excitement. His breakthrough was different from ordinary people. It was difficult for him to break through in a step by step cultivation. As his hair fluttered in the wind, Mo Tianyu's eyes shone brightly. It was time for him to show his true skills. This was also his opportunity. The spiritual energy suddenly exploded with his body as the center. The Tao intent of defying fate was rolling. Defying fate, defying fate. He held three shining bronze treasures in his hands. He was thrown into the air and suspended in the sky, as if he was divining the secrets of heaven. Today, he broke through my skylock, he defied your fate. Chapter 320. When the demon lord turned around, the headless overlord was still the demon. In the desert, the wind and sand blew, rolling up scalding gravel. The sunlight was somewhat hot. However, many people felt a chill in their hearts. Zhou Heisheng had lost an arm, but with the recovery ability of a nascent soul stage cultivator, he quickly stopped bleeding. The overlord body stood unmoving. The overlord, who had lost his head, was like a statue, standing in the desert with a sense of desolation. The conqueror had lost. Under Zhou Heisheng's terrifying attack, he had lost. Even though he had broken through the five extreme heavenly lock in an emergency and unleashed an attack that had been stored up for a long time, reaching the level of the nascent soul realm, he had still lost. Zhou Heisheng had gathered all his strength in one sword strike and sliced off the conqueror's head. The cultivators of the five phoenix continent were silent. The overlord had fallen, but the white jade capital did not appear. Even young master Lu did not show any sign of it. This made the cultivators of the five phoenix continents suddenly feel heavy in their hearts and somewhat flustered. Even though the cultivators of the Tian Yuan domain were extremely powerful and overbearing, the cultivators of the five phoenix continent were actually not flustered. This was because behind them was the white jade capital. The existence of the white jade capital represented the strongest combat strength of the five phoenixes. No matter how many experts there were in the Tian Yuan region, they would not dare to offend the white jade capital. Although the white jade capital was hidden, but. Even so, it was still the confidence of the cultivators from the five phoenix continent. Now. This confidence seemed to be lacking. Even with the overlord death, there was still no white jade capital to make a move. This caused everyone to panic in the depths of their hearts. They felt as if they had lost their pillar of support. This is young Lord Lu's goal, in a corner of the desert. Zhang Li was dressed in an elegant outfit as he watched the battle from afar. He saw the unconcealable fear on the faces of the five Phoenix Continent cultivators. Little Phoenix 1 was nestled on top of White Green Bird's head. Little Phoenix 2 and Little Phoenix 3 curiously popped their heads out from the front of their clothes. What's young Lord Lu's purpose? The greenish-white bird was somewhat puzzled. The cultivators of the five Phoenix continent are too lacking in pressure. Young Lord Lu brought the white jade capital to hide, and to a large extent, it's to give some pressure to the cultivators of the five Phoenix continent. The white jade capital isn't the foundation for them to be fearless, it's their own strength that is. The cultivation strength of the Tianyuan foreign land is generally stronger than that of the five Phoenix continent. If I'm not wrong, the Tianyuan foreign land should also be under young Lord Lu's control. Even if it's not under his control, at least young Lord Lu has the right to speak. Such a force is best used to train troops, it won't use too much force, and it can also achieve the effect of exerting pressure, killing two birds with one stone. Zhang Li said. He looked at this matter from the point of view of leading troops and indeed found some clues. 
Bai Qingyao and Kai Lian came to a realization. So this was young Master Lu's hidden purpose. However, Zhang Li's expression was very grave. He looked towards the east, in the direction where White Jade Capital had disappeared. With Zhang Li's intuition as a commander, he could feel that young Master Lu's plan seemed to have a deeper purpose behind it. In Zhang Li's opinion, the cultivators of the Tian Yuan foreign land were not enemies. They could only be said to be competitors. The true enemy might not have appeared yet. Mo Baek watched the overlord lonely figure standing in the desert from afar. His heavy eye bags trembled, revealing a deep sorrowful expression. He had actually watched the overlord grow up. Unfortunately, their ideals did not match, and they parted ways. And now, the overlord had fallen in this desolate land. How tragic was that? Most importantly, from Mo Baek's point of view, the overlord death signified a great change in the world's situation. Compared to the grief in the hearts of the cultivators of the five phoenix continent, the experts of the Tianyuan foreign land didn't show much disdain. The overlord's strength had won their respect. If someone had said in the past that a fifth transformation golden core cultivator could almost kill a nascent soul stage cultivator of the initial success stage, they wouldn't believe it even if they were beaten to death. But the overlord had done it. He had almost killed Zhou Heisheng, whose essence, energy, state, and battle strength were all at the peak. This is an opponent worthy of respect. Zhang Nan carried the Padao on his back and side. Xiao Yuer also nodded. She had to admit that if the Overlord was given enough time, the Overlord might grow to the same level as them. It was absolutely not a problem. Feng Yilu shook his head. It can only be said that it's a pity. No matter how talented you are, it's in vain if you can't grow. This is the cruelty of the cultivation world. The people of the Five Phoenix Continent are somewhat at ease. They know nothing about the cruelty of cultivation. Zhang Nan and Xiao Yuer had to admit that what Feng Yilu said made sense. Xu Chu's eyes widened. His body was ice cold. He could not even hold the prickly metal ball in his hand and it fell to the ground. The king has fallen. Xu Chu's lips trembled. In the next moment, his eyes suddenly revealed a monstrous anger and sorrow. Ah! The king! Xu Chu roared. The thick sorrow was like a surging sea wave, crashing against his chest. He picked up the prickly metal ball and ran out with his red eyes. Dong dong dong. The yellow sand on the ground was shaking. The metal ball swung and set off a terrifying hurricane. Xu Chu rushed towards Zhou Heisheng crazily. He wanted to take revenge for the king. Xu Chu admired two people the most in his life. One was the overlord, and the other was young Master Liu. The overlord had the greatest influence on him. To him, he was like an elder brother. However, now that the overlord was dead, he could not control his emotions at all. It was not just Xu Chu. Many of the cultivators of the Shang family army had gone crazy. Their shouts instantly tore through the sky above the desert. Kill. Avenge the king. The Shang family army roared. The leader of the body constitution realm charged out first and followed behind Xu Chu. Their eyes were red and filled with grief. The people of the Tianyuan foreign land finally laughed. Facing a nascent soul realm, it's useless no matter how many people there are. If we go, we'll just be throwing our lives away. The cultivators from the foreign land said with a laughable tone. These conqueror soldiers were like moths to a flame. Zhou Heisheng lost an arm and grabbed the blood-stained universal life sword. He held the sword with one hand and glanced at Xu Chu and the others who were charging over. He couldn't be bothered with these people, since the overlord was already dead. Then what he was going to look for next, was the black dragon cult leader Lu Yuanhao who instigated Zhou Lu to deal with the overlord. Scram! Zhou Heisheng didn't make a move to kill Xu Chu and the others. This could be considered as giving the overlord face. To be able to fight with him and even break one of his arms at the golden elixir realm, this person made him admire. Bang! Zhou Haisheng shouted fiercely. The pressure of the nascent soul stage on his body spread out, turning into ripples that spread out in all directions. One by one, the Shang family soldiers that rushed out were smashed away. Xu Chu withstood the pressure, roared, and strode forward. Xu Chu's body was covered with muscles that were as dense as dragons. He straightened his neck, his face was red, and his gaze was filled with hatred as he walked forward step by step. 
Zhou Heisheng raised his hand. Buzz. He flicked out a stream of sword chi with his fingers. Puchi. Shu Chu's legs exploded with blood as he flew backward. Suddenly. Zhou Heisheng was stunned. He turned his head to look at the overlord. His spiritual sense was very sharp. He didn't know if it was an illusion, but he seemed to feel that. The cold corpse of the overlord. Was moving. What are you doing? Kong Nanfei looked at Mo Tianyu, who suddenly burst out a powerful aura, and his breathing stopped. Old Kong, protect me. Mo Tianyu looked at Kong Nanfei, and his eyes were bloodshot. You owe me this. Mo Tianyu roared. Kong Nanfei fell silent. Don't kill yourself. Kong Nanfei gulped down a mouthful of wine and said. Mo Tianyu laughed loudly. The fate defying Dao intent continued to surge. Fortunately, you are the overlord. If it were you, Kong Nanfei, we wouldn't be able to save you. The fate defying Dao intent meets the unyielding Dao intent. They are a perfect match. Mo Tianyu laughed. He held the three copper treasures and formed a lotus seal with his hands. He struck the three copper treasures, causing the copper treasures to glow. Rumble. Clouds surged over. Overlord. I will defy your life today. Mo Tianyu roared. The next moment, he was going to break the heaven lock and defy the overlord life. Faintly, a grayish white light appeared in Mo Tianyu's eyes. The Tao intent of defying fate was like strands of silk, whipping at his body. Mo Tianyu let out a muffled groan. Then, he saw. He saw a city, the Dead Souls city in the Nine Prisons secret realm. Dead souls were walking outside the city, entering the city in a daze. The souls have returned. Mo Tianyu exposed his chest and roared. Suddenly, in the dead souls city, a terrifying aura woke up. Tall figures sat on the thrones, looking down at Mo Tianyu from behind the dead souls city. Puchi. Mo Tianyu felt as if his soul was about to be torn apart. His mind quickly withdrew from this terrifying state. Mo Tianyu, who had returned to reality, immediately spat out a mouthful of blood. His entire body seemed to be on fire, and half of his face was a little gloomy, as if it was tainted with an ominous aura. He scratched his head, and a large amount of hair fell off with a single scratch. Damn it, I've lost a lot. Fate defying. It's not something humans can play with. Mo Tianyu cursed in his heart. His wild and unruly image was getting further and further away from the current him. If he could not break through the heaven lock this time, he would really lose a lot. Boom. However, the effect was also obvious. In the distance, black demonic chi started to surge out from the overlord headless body. The bones in Mo Tianyu's body made a shocking sound of collision, and the fate-defying Dao intent enveloped his body, causing his cultivation to soar rapidly. He had entered the heavenly lock realm, but entering the heavenly lock realm was only the beginning. Rumble. Kong Nanfei was shocked. What did Mo Tianyu do? He glanced at the overlord in the distance, and Devil Chi emerged from his body. There was actually a little bit of life force blooming in the endless darkness. Was it Mo Tianyu who did it? This guy, not only did he read the divination backwards, but he could also defy his own divination. To the extent of defying the heavens and changing fate? Kong Nanfei took a deep breath. He was more and more convinced that Mo Tianyu must be the reason why he was able to survive even though he failed to break through to the Heaven Lock Realm. He was pulled back from death. However, when he saw Mo Tianyu's hair falling off and his body enduring the pain of the backlash, Kong Nanfei understood that he had to pay a corresponding price to defy the heavens and change his fate. But even so, it was still shocking enough. AMI. Dead? The Overlord felt that someone was calling out to him. It made his chaotic consciousness become clearer. Then, he woke up. He remembered. That his head had been beheaded by Zhou Heisheng. He. Should be dead. Then why? The overlord froze. He felt as if he was inside the Nine Hells prison gate. He discovered that the dense demonic chi began to surge. As the demonic chi rolled, it actually transformed into a huge cage that suddenly fell down. Chains fell down one after another. They were ice cold, as if they could freeze a person's soul. A messenger of death walked out with the chains in his hands. He stared coldly at the overlord from afar. However, beside the overlord ears, the voice that was calling out and guiding him became louder and louder. Return of the soul. 
This was Mo Tianyu's voice. The overlord thought of this familiar voice. You have walked the demonic path. Since you have already died, you should enter purgatory. The messenger of death said. The voice was a little vigorous. It spread out and actually caused waves of air to explode. The chains pulled over coldly, wanting to take the overlord away. The overlord naturally understood that Mo Tianyu was saving him. Defying the heavens and changing fate, the overlord took a deep breath. Mo Tianyu's divination was actually so terrifying? Of course, with Mo Tianyu's cultivation, he naturally couldn't directly lead the overlord out. However, the overlord could follow the guidance of the voice and rush out of purgatory. Boom. The overlord body erupted with a devilish aura. Impudent. Messenger of death shouted angrily. He pulled off a chain that worked on the soul. The overlord roared angrily and punched out, smashing the chain. The chain was pushed away. The pain that tore through the soul made the overlord roar. Enduring the pain, he took this opportunity to break free from the chain and escape. Rumble. The messenger of death disappeared. The overlord suddenly felt his insignificance. A terrifying existence appeared between heaven and earth. That figure sat upright on the throne, holding a book in his hand. His eyebrows were raised and he glared at the overlord coldly. This terrifying existence slammed down with a palm and instantly covered the sky, wanting to capture the overlord. The overlord naturally wasn't willing to surrender so easily. No one wanted to die. If he could live, the overlord also wanted to live. The overlord didn't know how chaotic Western Liang would become if he died. Perhaps. Western Liang's warriors would all fight Zhou Heisheng with their lives. With Zhou Heisheng's strength of the nascent soul realm, Western Liang's warriors would probably be slaughtered. The overlord wanted to leave, he wanted to leave. But. The aura of the figure on the throne was too strong. The overlord recognized that this person's aura was somewhat similar to the figure on the throne in Qin Guang City. A feeling of despair enveloped the overlord heart. It would have been fine if there had been no hope, but Mo Tianyu had given him hope. Since there was hope, the overlord did not want it to be destroyed. The overlord roared furiously as if he had burned his soul. An unyielding Tao intent surged out from the soul fire. Black demonic chi surged. The overlord mind moved as he thought of a way to resist this throne. He burned his soul fire, and as demonic chi surged, it gathered into a blurry figure. This was a figure that the overlord was very familiar with. Demon lord. Monstrous demonic chi swept over, turning into an illusory figure above the overlord head. The demonic chi illusory figure was wrapped in a black robe. Facing the palm of the throne figure. The demon lord slowly turned his head. Oh. The figure on the throne instantly felt as if his palm was being burned by flames, and he abruptly retracted it. The moment the devil master turned his head, the figure on the throne felt a familiar and reverent aura. Wang. The overlord took this opportunity and with the help of his unyielding Tao intent, he charged out of this boundless purgatory. The devil Qi coiled around the overlord headless corpse. As it coiled around, it actually turned into a blurry figure. On the overlord decapitated head, monstrous devil Qi surged, faintly turning into a blurry face. The flames of the soul burned and danced within, carrying with it demonic Qi. It was as if a devil had crawled out from hell. 